Up and welcome to another MoGraph MoCast. I'm Dave. And I'm Matt. And joining us today is the mega super talented Sasha Vinogradova. Hey guys. And MoGraph is a supplement to our site, MoGraph.com, which is a motion graphics tutorial site with tutorials, plugins, podcasts, and other MoGraph stuff. And on the show, we talk about everything ranging from motion graphics to Cinema 4D, After Effects plugins, render engines, doing business, doing taxes, being a contractor. We're working for the man. You can email us info at MoGraph.com. Let us know what you think about the show. Questions, comments, concerns, queries, grievances, show topic ideas, artist suggestions. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, MoGraph.com. Hit us up on all the things and let you let us know what you want to hear on the show. If it's something noob, mm -hmm. if it's something advanced, if it's something uh, render engine related, NFT related, uh, artistic journey related, whatever yeah. it is. I don't know. All the things. we Surprise you know, us. 279 episodes at about two and a half hours a piece. You know, uh, you know. Eventually you run you out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Got to come up with some ideas every once in a while. So let us know if there's something you want to hear, and we will talk about it. We've got uh, a couple emails from some people, mostly NFTs. So we will be talking about the NFT stuff in the second half of the show, mm -hmm. as we do. But quickly, I wanted to do a little week wrap-up stuff here. Uh, Sasha, feel free during this segment to chime in if there's anything you want to chime mm -hmm. in on. We're just going to kind of go through some stuff that we learned this week in the world of motion. Everything. Mm, we'll <laughs> in in uh, the world of life. Yeah. <laughs> so, number one, uh, been working to make sure that Mark's new version of his Houdini course, Stop Being Afraid of Houdini, yeah. is good to go. I got to say, Pickle Nick has been killing it. On he the editing. has been killing it, yeah. Yeah, and uh, so it's it's moving right along. We are trying to get it all done by uh, a, a talk that Mark's doing. I don't know if I should say what that is yet, because I don't know if it's been announced. So, um, But we are trying to get that ready. So here's the deal. If you have the Stop Being Afraid of Houdini course, when we come out with the new version, the 18.5 version, with all the new goodness and the new goodies in it, you will get that upgraded. It will be a new class for you, essentially. So you still have the old one you can go reference. You'll have the new one as a separate class you can log into. And then anybody who buys the course new at that point is going to be buying just the 18.5 version. So if mm -hmm. you want to have both versions, I would say you should probably sign up now. Yeah. <laughs> and get and get ready uh, in case you don't have the newest version of 18 yet and you kind of want to start with that. So make sure you check that out. There's going to be some really cool new fun things to do in it. So even if you are a previous owner, you're going to want to hop over to this one and try all the new hotness. And we'll probably yeah. have Mark come on on a special or something mm -hmm. like that. You know, speaking of specials, specials, speaking oh. of specials, mark your calendars for this Thursday. We're going to have a MoGraph special. This is going to be a live episode of The Drop. Yeah. This is going to be at 8 p.m. Central on Thursday night. Special guest, Mixmaster Mike. Yeah. So yeah. excited. <laughs> and he's coming on with Jonathan Winbush. Mm -hmm. And they are uh, going to talk to us about something they're working on. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Also, next week on mm -hmm. Thursday, we will have another live episode of The Drop. This one's going to be with David Aryev, Luis Miranda, and Peter Costi, who is a collector Ooh. So make sure you set your calendars for that. That would be well. fun to get the collector's perspective on things. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah, it's absolutely. Something just like different universe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it really is, and I think that's something that uh, Ariev he's been really c connecting with some of these collectors a lot. And, and yeah, connectors like like Beeple said, collectors are. How did he put it? He said they were like they were like groundhogs. Yeah. <laughs> they pop their they pop out if they see their shadow they kind of go back in yeah. so it's really hard to get collectors well to i mean come out also think talk. about it you know this these collectors weird. some of them are probably loaded you know so they don't want to put I their name it. or their face out there to like think, let people yeah you know because if, if i had a secretly billion Bitcoin dollars rich, you know mm -hmm. and i was like hey look at me people hit me up for money no that'd be mm -hmm. weird yeah <clears throat> so Keep an eye out for that, and uh, we can talk all NFTs on that later. But I see Gabriel see. in the chat. <laughs> Hi, Gabe. 
<laughs> Hello, Gabriel. Hello, Gabriel. <laughs> he is an awesome artist. We used to uh, work together at the meal. Uh, oh, yeah. Done some projects, yes. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Sorry. So, <laughs> no, you're fine. Sasha, I, I know you've been busy, and you, you may have not had the opportunity to check out uh, Camp MoGraph and what it's all about. So Matt <laughs> is going to uh, let's, ELI let's, 5 Let's, let's, to let's you. talk about Camp MoGraph. Okay. So tell me it's, everything. It's, it's been a while since uh, uh, you know we it, it, we haven't we haven't put Camp MoGraph on hold. It's been on temporary hold until this year. We're figuring out what we're going to do. We finally talked to the camp, and um, uh, the good news is, uh, amazing news. We're planning on Camp MoGraph this year. Camp MoGraph is happening. We're super yeah. excited. It's happening. It's going to ah oh, crap. Um, it <laughs> is <laughs> September 9th through twelfth. So it's in September. It's in Portland, Oregon. Oh wow! So at Camp Collins in Portland, Oregon. Um, actually, it's technically outside of Portland. It's in Gresham, but that's okay. Um, close enough, right? Close, close enough, enough to say Portland. So, um, Just off, is this better? Is my mic better now? I, I boosted a little. I had to change some stuff before the show with my mic. You know, it's it always good to change stuff right before a show. Right? Hopefully, that's better. Yeah, yeah. It's always good to change. No. I'll tell you what it, I'll tell you what it was is we have these little I'm sorry I completely derailed but it's okay. uh, we have these little things called dynamite sticks that we uh-huh. added to these mics to help a little bit and while they do help a little bit and you can add plus uh, plus 48 it creates so much noise that this yeah. this is a no go don't use this so I had to I'm crank my one. stuff up and Matt is using one so yes. I just cranked up my gain uh, on the stream a little bit, so hopefully that helps. So okay. So, anyway, back Camp to Camp MoGraph. So, um, for those who haven't heard of Camp MoGraph, it's basically a like a three day retreat for motion designers. It's a chance to get away from your desk and hang out and schmooze and talk to other motion designers and stuff. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. I'm so excited for it. So uh, September 9th through 12th, uh, 2021, in Portland, Oregon, Camp Collins. Um, we are going to sell tickets starting June 1st. So... Ooh-wee. Yeah. There so it is. Here it is. Now, here's the thing. Here's, here's the good thing that you don't have to worry about. You know, if, if for some reason everything, like, just goes to crap again... You know, it's going this is through- dependent on the the camp. That we're at the mercy well, okay. of the. So here's camp. here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say. So one, you don't have to worry about your tickets because if things go bad, then you know you'll get refunded because that's the way Eventbrite is working currently through the pandemic. Right. You know, right. they hold basically all the money until after the uh, event after happens. the event now, and so you know, or. Which, or, or you could hold on to it for when we do have it. Right, but, so, correct. But, but right now it's on because the camp says that they're going to be Correct. Open. So this is what we, we talked to the camp and the camp, because uh, we were worried about everything. They said, so uh, Oregon currently has uh, certain limitations on the amount of people that can gather together and stuff like that. And we were looking at it and it doesn't matter even if they're at the highest level our original plans on the camp were that it's going to be we we always planned on having it limited and not jam packing right. people full in the camp just to say we jam packed people. We like keeping it small. Right. We like keeping it intimate. We like keeping it, you know, as as a uh, small amount of people as possible. So, with we that said, we pay for said, the whole camp. We buy we rent out the entire camp. And but we, and we own, don't we fill don't, it. We don't fill it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that people have privacy. They don't have to worry about, you know, if you're sleeping on a bunk bed, we don't have to worry about who's sleeping on the top and who's sleeping on the bottom bunk. You can choose whether you want to sleep on the top or the bunk. Bob. Uh, you know, everyone has a chance yeah. to figure that stuff out. So uh, the good news is because of that, we're already at the, you know, at the uh, like the maximum problem limitations that we can have. So we're good there. You know, so the camp is mm-hmm. happening. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be September 9th through 12th. Tickets go on sale June 1st. So make sure and set your calendars. You can go to campmograph.com to check out more uh, more uh, information about it. You can check out the different. Oh, man. Dave, can you bring up some of the, uh, the, the lodging and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, because- uh, by the way, campmograph.com if you want to. If you want to check it out. Yes, if you want to check it out. Uh, super excited. So the lodging. You got to tell me where you, to go here. Uh, up at the top, go up to lodging. 
<laughs> See, I don't even know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I am. So I am we've got some just really, really cool cabins. So um, keep in mind, if you're going to buy a camp, uh, ticket to Camp MoGraph, these are all community cabins. So you will be sharing like a cabin with uh, with multiple people. So we've got these. Uh, the, we've got the Rotary Village cabins, which are like these big hobbit houses and stuff. So They're super cute. cool. Right. Uh, uh, and then we've got the treetop village cabins. So they're these big, uh, uh, you know, tree houses and stuff like that, which Ooh, is super there other, cool. Oh, there's other pictures yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, nice. you know, that's what the inside looks like. They're, uh, they've all got heating and everything. Uh, the Rotary Village ones and the, the uh, treetop cabins, uh, they've all got like a, a half bath, you know, so you don't have to get up and walk all the way across camp if in the middle of the night you got to go to the bathroom. But mm-hmm. if you are staying in the Adventure Village cabins, you will have to get up and walk all the way to the bathroom. <laughs> Um, but Which the Adventure not Village, bad, it's but, not that bad. No, yeah. the uh, Adventure Village cabins um, are, are quite a bit more rustic than the other ones. They still do have heating and stuff like that, but it's like wood interiors, wood flooring, and stuff like that. It's the I, I, that's this is where I'm staying because uh, mm-hmm. I like the Adventure Village ones. But they do have heating. We're all set up for that. If for those who have been to the previous camp, we knew we had some heating issues. Um, but then here's, Jer- if here's you want, Jeremy. This is Jer- <laughs> this is the Jeremy Yurt. <laughs> <laughs> we'll um, just call it the Jeremy Village. The Jeremy Village, right? So, um, uh, these are the yurts. They're like big, gigantic tents with a bunch of uh, of uh, bunk beds in them. Uh, they do have like little heating units inside, so we can try and keep everyone warm and stuff. But this is the most rustic. If you're looking for that, if you're looking to save some money, you know, uh, those are the cheapest option. But uh, we've got some amazing presenters. We've got some amazing teachers um, and some fireside chats planned, and it's going to be absolutely killer. So, Wait, what kind um, of teachers do you guys have? You like going away from the computer but learning about computer? Or- well, so we've got... We're learning more about art in general. Okay. I like that yeah. Jeremy's like in the it. chat. <laughs> so um, uh, if you go to the fireside chats and the about, right now yeah. those are wrong. So we've had a few oh, cancellations. Those are not and correct. So, those are not so correct. So don't look at any. So just stop yeah. paying attention to it. Correct. <laughs> so um, uh, we need to update those. We've had some some different teachers and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So we need to update that. But um, it's going it's going to be awesome. And for uh, for a three day event, you know, it's basically you get there Thursday, you leave Sunday for wait Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it's like you know. Three and a half days, maybe three mm-hmm. full days, whatever. For a three day event, all your lodging, you know, it, it, the the price of admission covers your lodging. It covers all the food you can eat, you know, over the next few days. Um, yep. All the entertainment, all the things, um, and also uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have a bunch of alcohol too. So you know. So that's free as like well. You do. So yeah. there's nowhere that you can find an all-inclusive place for three days, <laughs> hanging out with all of your great uh, motion designer friends. And uh, yeah. it's it's if uh, if you had se- if you went to the last one, you'll know. If you haven't, then you just got to go to to experience. But be it. prepared. So, be prepared to not have connectivity. There's there's, there's no be some Wi-Fi. There, there is around. some Wi-Fi near the front building and but don't near the back building where <laughs> we're sticking people. You know yeah. that, that those are the only two places where we've got like there's one in the Rotary <laughs> Village that has uh, Wi-Fi. So, but when you go, expect to be completely unplugged because right. you know there is no 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 cell service at all. <laughs> <laughs> so to give you an example of what a course would be without a computer, it'd be like, okay, you're going to learn color theory. You're right. going to use markers or crayons mm-hmm. or whatever it is, right? Yeah. You know, this is, you're going to talk about modeling, you're going to use clay. So yeah, we're going to use clay. It was, it's a lot of fun. Much, Last year's was a lot yeah. of fun. And really, mm-hmm. like, even, you know, while you can take, uh, you know, some of the things that you've learned and you always feel, we always felt really, you know, excited and re, re regenerated whenever we came out of camp mograph the last one because yeah. even if even if you know most of these principles and stuff it's good to just like have a refresher and keep them in mind and stuff like that it's awesome yeah. so and go to the, oregon once in a while <laughs> right oregon's mm-hmm. beautiful like yeah. so me and mark uh Cernoso, we went out to this camp uh, a couple of years ago when we were scouting it and it is <laughs> Gosh, absolutely a couple of years ago a couple of years ago uh, right oh so COVID. Yeah. <laughs> so 
but it's uh it's an absolutely killer camp and i'm super excited for everyone to get there it's got a giant climbing wall and zip lines and you know all those other tons of hiking it's going to be great so many of us how is Go the ahead. combination of alcohol and zip lines <laughs> last year? We will oh, not be doing yeah. zip lines when there is alcohol involved. So <laughs> yeah, normally yeah. what we do with the alcohol is like we wait until a certain time at night, you it's know, night. and we're like, yeah, okay, yeah. now it's it's you know, everything else is shut off. Let's uh we're gonna do yeah. the we're we're gonna start drinking Smart. there. You know. Yeah. And so we'll, we'll have dinner, we'll have licensed chat. people who, you know, are able to yeah. uh uh uh, distribute tend, alcohol. yeah distribute alcohol yeah. and stuff like that so yeah um and so it's the tickets as you've seen are re- really cheap they're very inexpensive it's great and the whole point of this is that we just want we want to give people an opportunity to chill and relax and stuff like that and it's going to be that, the first thing for a lot of people it is going to be the first event for yeah. a lot of people yeah which is awesome so the main thing is we could not have done this for as inexpensive as it is without some of the amazing sponsors we have for Camp Mograph. Um, first off, we've got our three village sponsors. We've got Maxon. Um, we've got... Oh, we're going to have to update that logo now on the uh, the site, won't we? Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we've got Video Copilot. Uh, they're also sponsoring one. And uh, Otoy is sponsoring uh, a village as well. So depending on which village you're staying in, uh, that will be your village. You'll be in the Otoy village or the Video Copilot village or the Maxon village, right? Yeah. So that's going to be great. Um, next up is our our our, uh, our gold sponsors. We've got Grayscale Gorilla and we've got Minimal Massive. Minimal Massive is a local uh, Portland studio, which we're super excited to have them on board. It's really cool to support your local artists and stuff like that. Um, mm-hmm. And then we've got our bronze sponsors, A Scripts and School of Motion. Um, and you know, if if you're planning on going, if you're excited about camp or anything. Uh, give these people a shout out and say thank you for helping make my ticket so cheap. Because honestly, yeah. we we don't make any money off of this. It is our way of giving back to the community. In fact, last year we ended up paying out of our pockets for it. Yeah. yeah or two years ago, just so we could have the event, you know. And this is this is the way in order to keep it cheap for everyone give everyone a chance to get back to nature get back to the basics and uh get back to have, seeing people get back to life. seeing yes. people in real life you Aren't know you just loving that it's coming back <laughs> oh, <laughs> finally get to yeah. some real life yeah. events mm-hmm. yes texas and I feel is 100 like open way. it's fine right <laughs> yeah right yeah well this is a good way to do it because everybody can hang out pretty distance outside and all yes. that it's like a good yeah. first time if that's what you're doing if you're like okay i got my shot i'm gonna yeah. go do something for the first time i'll probably <clears throat> wear a mask or whatever but like i, yeah. I want to go out somewhere but you can still stay distance and outdoors or, absolutely and dave know, can you bring back up the cabins out. real quick i want to I, w- I would love sure. to point something out about the sleeping situation what you'll notice oh, with yeah. each of the uh Go to like the uh, either the rotary or the treehouse ones and then go to like the sleeping, like the bunk beds. What you'll mm-hmm. notice about all of these is that they are separated from everyone else. You've got a dividing line and everything. So oh, yeah. even if you're yeah, sleeping yeah. in your own individual area, you don't have to worry too much about, you know, getting in people's space or something like that. You got your yeah. own private space, which is awesome. Ooh. So yeah. very exciting. Cool. Super very exciting. exciting. Now I yeah. want to go. Very exciting. Yeah, you should. Yeah. You should. It's going to be fantastic. How was last so, time? Um, yeah. It was incredible. So good. It was cold, but it was incredible. That well, was one... we're going to be chasing the dragon. Like that's that yeah. was like the <laughs> amazing like perfect thing. Right. That, like it's like can they the, all be that good every the time? The last one, the last one it was a little cold because, yeah. you know, we were doing it a little bit later in the season. It was October. It was in Vermont, you know. It was so and cold. um <laughs> You know, we got space heaters for everyone. We tried to make it comfortable, and we yeah. kept on, you know, blowing some breakers and stuff. But we we took care of it. <laughs> but yeah. the thing is, that was something that we uh, kept in mind for this next one. So everything September. has like radiant floor. Yes. Yeah, and September is going to be incredible be in so Portland. So, I think we're going to try and rent an RV and make a, like a trip up to Oregon yeah. out of it. it should be yeah, interesting. <laughs> That'll be fun. <laughs> you guys yeah, would have to take a long uh, time off. To just enjoy a trip. 
Back. After the jobs we've right. been working on, we're ready oh, for man. it. We are ready, ready for it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna take a couple <laughs> vacations this summer. Right? That's for true. I've got two weeks man. two weeks of vacations booked at the end of July. I am ready for it. Hey, I'm yeah. going home to Russia in June and I'm so nice. excited about it. The nice. flying will be surreal. Yeah. I was gonna I say so so you're I didn't realize that was a thing already. Like it's open, so yeah. you can you can do that now. It's open if you have visas and you know green cards and oh, all okay. this stuff. Gotcha. Like, right okay. now, gotcha. like for example, if you just magically decide to travel, yeah. no one gives away visas, so no. Yeah, <sighs> I want to go to Iceland so bad. Yeah, I just want to go. Just travel. I just want to go back. Yeah, I know. We just like, want to travel. How can I get to Iceland right now? You gotta wait. I need a vacation. Gotta wait. Well, I mean, you know, you you could do the. You could just you know wait two weeks while you're there. You could quarantine for yeah. two weeks. If but you're gonna go you, like that, you gotta you're gonna spend go, a month. Yeah, you need to spend, a, be a, spend month. a month. Yeah, a month, yeah. month and a half. Why not? You know? They won't let you even do anything for a couple of weeks until right. everything's clear. So yeah. yeah. So probably so. first event of the season, Camp Mograph. So make sure and uh, uh, check it out. How many people so. is maximum? <clears throat> Uh, okay, so maximum in the camp is like 350 to 400. So it's really big, but we're topping out at 125. Yeah, um, very small. And that, group. that includes all the teachers, all the counselors, you know, everyone. So we'll sponsors, only have sponsors. You know, yeah, we'll only yeah. have 125 people there. So yep. it's, it's, and that may seem like a lot of people to stick in like one room, but in a gigantic, camp oh it you'll you won't even notice you know so yeah. it'll june feel first, really intimate june first will be like uh like a burning man tickets yeah <laughs> fresh, absolutely yeah. Fresh, fresh. here's hoping <laughs> i ho- sure hope so yeah so the first time we've um, done a show in a pandemic make so. sure so if you're interested and you're wanting to get on it make sure you do pick it up june 1st because we did have two pre-sales for uh for previous mm-hmm. camp mograph Alumni. People, uh, uh, alumni and so yeah. you know some of those tickets are already gone so we we don't don't count on having 125 full tickets or even being able to get into like the treehouse ones those are going to go fast so very fast yeah june yeah. 1st mark your calendars cool cool um all right yeah what else is that it all That's right it on uh, all right we're done with the show for, for camp <laughs> For camp, uh, yes, I think we're done. But a couple other things I wanted to put in here real quick, uh, just for the week wrap-up stuff, is that uh, number one, on a whim, got the new DJI drone. Right. The new uh, Air 2S. Mm -hmm. And I I don't have too much to report back on it so far because I'm still trying to figure out. There's all these modes that you can do, and I'm a little scared to just use them in the neighborhood. I want to go out somewhere where I have room to to make sure I don't screw it up, but it's got sensors all over it. It's fast. I love the the new, how how small it is, and the batteries and everything, and the video. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 5.4K. It's insane. It looks so good. absolutely insane. And the controller in, in the map and everything shows you now where other aircraft are in the air and you can put kind of a if you want to see all of the aircraft or some of them or the ones that are getting a little too close to you and it will say like a proximity alert and it will come up and it will show like airplanes now most of the airplanes are like you know 30,000 feet 30,000 yeah. feet over yeah. you but some of them taking off you know and all that are like 10 20,000 feet and it's cool cuz you'll see it and you'll turn the drone and you'll look and you can see that aircraft that's and, cool you know that's cool. i mean it's just so real time so i got to say pretty cool so far but i'll report back uh, once i really get time to play with some of the modes yeah tracking so things. you're stuck like okay so i was just thinking about it cuz you were talking about you know being able to see the planes and stuff but you can't mm-hmm. like flip the thing upside down and shoot from shoot upward could you <laughs> No, but uh, the the new gimbals, the camera, by the way, man, yeah. it's got that Hasselblad or whatever, and it yeah. comes with like different ND filters in a box that you can put on. It's oh, really that's cool. cool. Especially that's super cool. You're shooting most of the time outside in the sun, so that's yeah, of course. great. 
Uh, but yeah, it's it does tilt up slightly now a oh, little good. bit. You have to unlock it in the software, but you can tilt mm-hmm. up, so you can actually see a lot. But no, you can't flip it. That other one, that trick one that uh, Ren got, yeah, that 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 will flip, I believe. That's cool. But uh, yeah, I didn't want to go that route. I might get the goggles. We'll see, yeah. I, I ordered the uh, this the controller with the screen on it and everything, which is really cool. So. <laughs> I'll report Jeff, back. Jeff, uh, uh, Jeff in the chat was saying he's a bit disappointed that the tickets aren't going on sale tomorrow. They were originally marked for 420 because that's what we they did were. the first time. Yeah. Um, uh, but we we weren't a hundred percent sure, and we're like, oh, yeah, let's hold off, you know. And I didn't yeah. notice I had originally put them as for sale on 420 like six months ago when we changed the date. And totally forgot about it until this weekend, and I just so happened to change the date, and I was like, oh, it's a good thing I did. Otherwise, people would have been buying tickets on 420. Right. So. <clears throat> you got a 3D printer. I'll be looking forward to hearing about that. Yeah, so I bought the Ender Pro 3 uh, like a month and a half ago, you know, and so, and uh, I didn't realize when buying it there was going to be so much to put together, you know, which That's it's like. cheaper. It's like, well, yeah, but, you know, it's also why, uh, you know, once you, if you put together like a Lego set or something, you know, and you've done it once, doing it a second time wouldn't be that hard. It's like putting together a computer, right? You know, once Mm -hmm. you've done it once, doing it a second time, not that hard. So if I had to put a second Ender Pro 3 together, I would order Mm -hmm. another one because it would be so much easier now that I know what I'm doing, right? Right, right. And I'm an idiot. I didn't watch any videos on putting it together. You know, I was just like, all right, let's follow the 12 easy steps, you know, and put it all sure. together. And, and this thing is super like shaky now. <laughs> I'm like, all right, oh. I gotta, I gotta figure that out. Did you print but I haven't even, it? what? Did you I print have it? not, pr- I haven't printed anything yet. I just put it together. I still haven't even plugged it in to make sure it works, you know, <laughs> but I wanted to get the whole thing together. And then, uh, then I was going to try it out. But like, I, I had like maybe 30 minutes while I was waiting for a render to go this weekend. And my wife was getting the kid down to sleep for a nap. And I was like, all right, I'm going to try and put this together. So anyway, yeah, Ooh, no. it's, uh, I'm excited. It's, it fits really well on my desk, you know, my side desk. And, uh, I don't know. It looks cool. It looks really cool. And, uh, it wasn't too bad. I finally watched a video of how to put it together to make sure I did do it correctly and i did (laughs) Mm. uh minus the shakiness there's some stuff that you know i can i i need to fix there but i'm excited to try it out so the other thing on on the list for the week is uh metahumans has been blowing up sasha have you played with that yet i haven't played with that but i haven't played with that no never mind uh uh but i saw a bunch of videos and uh it looks crazy amazing just you know so crazy it's like uh seems merged with uh, real lifetime and now uh, yeah you know does seems like a joke comparing to what i saw there and uh, right it's just like life is surreal <laughs> just you, it is you don't it's need to- it's crazy how like i don't know it just it's it's the you know it's the what's the what's the the term where it you it's the uncanny valley uncanny valley yeah Mm -hmm. it's like it's weird they're so accurate but like there's little tick movements that don't yeah and you're just like "Uh." if it were a still you probably couldn't tell but because it's moving you're like i'm not sure but man it is it's crazy it's so crazy me and dave the other day we're supposed to be working on projects right it's early in the yeah. morning and i'm like okay we gotta bust out these projects and he's like oh look meta humans i'm like no don't start <laughs> no. don't go down this rabbit hole we gotta yeah. finish this project did you guys uh, have access to it did you play with that yeah oh we did yeah, yeah. like i was doing something here with the teeth like this dude with bad teeth like you can like yeah like melt away the teeth and like oh it's yeah. so it, like, oh, it's so cool it's so 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 cool wild make it really weird yeah i should have like preloaded these so (laughs) you could see them better on the stream but yeah Uh, just making weird people i don't know did i think smearballs is gonna have a good time with this right because like sasha you use you know a lot of people in your renders you think you'll maybe go that route like maybe you create a character for sure i mean it's like 
uh, you know, 10 years ago, I'm like, I need to create everything from scratch. And I'm like, right. how can I right. do this in the minimum time possible? <laughs> Right, yeah, right, 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 exactly. And there's a lot of people that are kind of new in the industry who will go back and forth on that and ask, be like, well, yeah, but you're not creating any of these things. You're not creating these things from scratch on your own or you're buying your own models. I'm like, that's the point. You don't, you don't have to. No one says you had to. It's, it's just whatever it takes to get to where you need to be. Yeah. There is a, and there is a big difference between someone buying a turbo squid model and not knowing your basics of lighting and texturing and camera movements, you know, and like versus someone who has had all the experience and buys a turbo squid model, you know, just right. to save them some time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I used to, as I said, I used to like, do everything from scratch. And now I'm like, yeah. okay, this model costs 20 bucks. It will take yeah. me an hour to uh, make it. My yeah. hour costs mm -hmm. much more than 20 bucks. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It's like, do I want to spend half a day modeling something that I can just get for $100 on Turbo Squid? Yeah. No. Yep. Yeah, yeah, even 100 bucks. Yeah, it's yeah. like, sure, I'll pay 100 bucks for that if I yeah. can get done early and go play some Halo. Yeah, we <laughs> bought these super awesome, like, animated FBX models models and stuff you know character models and i was like man these are really good i'm gonna use the hell out of these <laughs> you know <laughs> crazy sometimes like i see oh uh, yeah turbo squid and other resources some amazing artist put their stuff in there i'm like this is mm -hmm. th this person is so much better than me and uh, he or she sells it for 100 bucks i'm like right yes please yeah <laughs> It's so funny. Yeah, it's like Francisco says in the chat, and we've talked about this a little before. It's like, oh, you're not mixing your own oil paints to make your own painting. Like, yeah, it's the same thing. It's like, oh, you didn't, oh, you didn't create your own 3D software from scratch. What, you didn't stretch your canvas yourself. Yeah, you went and bought a canvas. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's like you know these things are. I've been doing 3D for a very long time when yeah. all the UV softwares weren't a thing, and you had to oh, yeah. go through like oh, hell to unwrap things. Yeah. I'm like, never mm -hmm. again, never again. I, yeah. I just don't want to deal yeah. with that anymore. I I never wanted to in the first place. So I like I'm probably the worst about UVing stuff because it's like, all right, set it for cubic. Call it, call it a day. Yeah. If I can try planar, we'll cool, try awesome. Planar yeah. Yep, yep, yep. yep. I'm good. Done. How did we leave before <laughs> tri planners? Right. I know. <laughs> Absolutely. <funny>. But <clears throat> um, also, we should probably talk about the fact that uh, Maxon last week, yes, came out with S twenty four. S twenty four. Yeah. It's a lot of good updates in this in this one. I'm I'm excited to get my I'm excited to download it and get my hands on it and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. The the placement tools are super cool. Um, that that's gonna save a bunch of time. You know, how many times have you had like something that you need to fill with something? And you're like, oh, I want to fill this with a bunch yeah. of balls or i gotta make yeah. a bowl of cereal or whatever yeah. it is and you you take all the cloners and you line them up and you drop them in and, and they go like, okay. all, all, all over the place yeah <laughs> and, or you get them and you're like this is perfect and then you hit a button and they all reset back and you're like no no yeah. i had it i was trying to like convert them to instances and just yeah. have the objects with no dynamics and then you screw it up and then it's like yeah okay all i have to do is take the tool and move it Literally, when I first got into C4D, the very f I had a bunch of pills, like, you know, I was doing a spot for like a pharmacy or whatever. So I had a whole bunch of capsules and pills mm -hmm. and stuff. And I'm like, I just want to make sure that these are actually touching the ground. You know, it's like, how do I do that? So I literally placed all of them where I wanted to do, made them dynamic, made them like bounce on the ground and stop. And then I just deleted it. It's like, now you don't have to do any of that. Any of yeah. that. It's great. The placement tools. What what other uh, big ones were there, Dave? There was Sasha. Uh, have you looked at these no, yet? No, I'm, I'm the... like here. Here's the moment of truth. I will learn everything about Cinema Twenty Four. So, guys, <laughs> tell us everything. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, the well, the asset browser is updated. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and also, what's awesome about the asset browser being updated is that, or the content browser, it's that. Um, it's very, you can put tags on everything so you can easily search. Mm -hmm. Um, also you don't have to download the whole thing anymore. 
Yeah, it's all online. If you're online, which most of us are all the time, like you can just search for something. It searches online, and then you can download it right there, which is amazing. I like the admit, fact that I don't I, have to have yeah. like. 24 gigs worth of like useless stuff that I'm never going to use on my computer. Only 24 for gigs. Every really? single version. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only 24. Right? Yeah, you know, that's the thing. I haven't installed a content browser the last couple times because I didn't have to. And I install I'm just it every really time about... for uh, studio 021.hdr. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't use that stuff anymore. I wasn't using that stuff. And it was because of the file size. And yeah. so now it's like I, I know, like I have no good organization for any of my assets or content. Like I have no excuse yeah. not to be using it now. Yeah, and what's awesome is like, okay, you create something, you're like, oh, I want to use this in the future. Drag it right in, right? I believe you. Can the do way that. the way that I do uh, assets now is, it's like I start a project, and I'm like, I need a lamp. Mm-hmm. Did I buy? I bought that lamp on Turbo Squid. Let me right. go get it again <laughs> off of my Turbo Squid account. Or what did I use oh, I that used, lamp in? Yeah, what did I use that project? lamp in the last yeah. project? <laughs> and or... then I'm going through Dropbox, <laughs> Google, or not Googling, but searching for lamp to see. Mm-hmm. That's a terrible way to organize your assets. Let's see. There's new animation good. workflows. Um, let's see. Da, 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 the da. curves editor. The curves the editor curves, is yeah. everybody's raving about. Enjoy. And I haven't had a chance to play Curve evaluation and other workflow enhancements. While yeah. character animators will enjoy even more powerful retargeting and impose workflows. Um, then there's the scene manager in scene mm-hmm. nodes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, this is building off of the the new core stuff that they're doing with all the, the nodes, like the yeah. animation nodes and stuff. So there's this new scene manager to where if you don't feel comfortable jumping into nodes, you can jump into the scene manager by itself. That's something that I really want to hop into because I like, I don't, I, I haven't even had a chance to jump into it in R23, right? right. You know, yeah. let alone S24. So yeah. I don't know. Cool. It was exciting. good though. Check out all the uh, replays from mm-hmm. the 3D Motion Show last week. It's on Maxon's YouTube account. You can check out all the presentations and uh, some people were doing stuff on the the new tools like Chris yeah. Schmidt. So Chris Schmidt did out. a really good job on the, the yeah. new tools. And set. he has videos that he's released as well on mm-hmm. this. So you can check that out. And then uh, yeah, that's about it. it. That was fun. And of course, people came on yeah. at the end of the week. Yeah. To, uh, I thought the piece that daily. he did was very good in comparison to some of the other ones that we've done on live streams. And I feel Here's like it was deal. because there was only like two to three people telling him what to do. Here's versus... the deal. Literally, I was like, look, look, Matthias, <laughs> here's what I think we need to do. We need to only have one extra person on. Yeah. Because I, I think it's cool when people start throwing in their ideas, but when like fifty people come on, yeah, it becomes such a cluster that like there's yeah. no story. You can't concentrate on really like doing a good story or whatever. So oh yeah, Francisco, the scatter tool as well. That was a huge one. Oh, the scatter. So tool. so uh, it's like a scatter paint tool where basically you can you can paint on like you know. You can scatter trees, or you can scatter, yeah, you, can you know, Mo-Graf. anything. It's super yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sorry. but uh, Winkleman was, he did a good job. He he did, like, he actually had a story that time, and I think it's because, yeah. yeah, there were less people. Paul was on. Mm-hmm. I was I was there as, it, you know, yelling in the ear. You couldn't mm-hmm. hear me on the stream, but uh, because I solved his Photoshop problem, I was able to right. name the piece. <laughs> And it was funny because I hopped on Halo later that night, and uh, Rev was playing. Mm-hmm. And the, as soon as we got on Xbox uh, Party Chat, he said, "Hey, name my everyday." And I just said, "Purple Monkey Dishwasher." <laughs> purple, purple Monkey Dishwasher. And he named it that, so I got to name both of their dailies <laughs> in, in one day. It was nice. Well done. Yeah, I'm so, so proud of you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on to Ravcock. What's your flavor? What's your flavor? Did want to mention that Jules did his GTC talk, and I yes. haven't had a chance to watch it yet. So I started looking out. through it, and it's it's super cool. Something that Amit has coming to C4D that he's playing with is mm-hmm. um, it, it's it's like an overlay, a node overlay for while you're inside a node the overlay. I- yeah, it's it's so basically it's an overlay 
while you're working so that you can see the nodes on top of everything to where you don't have to open up an entirely new node editor, you know, on top. If, mm-hmm. if you've got minimal space you know, versus us, that's got these, you know, dual widescreens Wide or whatever. Screens, yeah. But it's like if you just want to overlay it on top and then you can mess around with the nodes and then pop it out, you know, super cool, along with a ton of other really awesome stuff. I'm well, super excited. Keep, yeah. 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 Well, so. I usually he puts his talk on YouTube yeah. after the fact. I think there's it's got to be up on their site for. Yeah. As of right now, you can uh, uh, I'll, I'll add the link. But it's yeah, you a, can register and watch it for yeah, free. Yeah, you can register and watch it for free. So Yeah. Um, yeah. So keep an ear out for that. I'm sure we'll go through it piece by piece. We'll probably have Jules on the show again um, maybe next month to talk about some of those updates too. That'll be fun. I'm waiting for Brigade. That's I'm just like, come on, come yeah. on, come on. Let me let Brigade me see was it. the number one thing that people were asking for. Yeah. So yeah. it's gonna be that's gonna be awesome. Okay. Enough of all that. Let's talk yeah. about Sasha. That's why we're here. That was a long <laughs> intro today. It Good was. Lord. Sorry, it was all. It was twenty minutes of Camp MoGraph. Hey, yeah. I, it's I, just been so long. I couldn't. I, could, I was so excited. I'm so excited. To talk excited. About it. I'm, I, I really want to go now because it's uh, again first event in a long time. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You That's know, the thing. I have uh, my birthday is coming up, and uh, I finally can throw a party because most of the people being vaccinated, yeah. and That's good. it's like. Oh yes, finally. So yeah. very excited about that. Good. We'll we'll be back to being glad that uh we'll be back to being glad when people cancel parties uh soon yeah. enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. think there's probably a word for that. Like when you're when you make a it's like an obligation to go to a party and then at the last second it cancels and you're kinda of relieved. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. We'll be back to that soon enough. Yeah. So tell us about your journey and and how you got into art, I guess, in general, and how you got into what you're doing now. It's always mm-hmm. very interesting to for anybody to look back, especially in MoGraph for some reason, to look back on the journey in hindsight and say, how exactly did I end up yeah. right here? How did that happen? Yeah. Um, take a moment, say hi to Tony. And Priyanka, I <laughs> see them. I, I'm going to do it all day today, <laughs> just seeing people Shout I outs. like and well, I know and yeah. Yeah. Um, how did I get in arts and 3D? I think it's two different, you know, uh, stories. Mm-hmm. And uh, I uh, always liked art. I made my mom take me to an art school when I was six. They officially That's cool. They officially didn't accept kids, uh, you know that young but i just made her and uh my <laughs> parents were like i have sister and uh, with both of us they're like okay whatever whatever you guys want weird but sure um so i always knew i liked art um and also being from russia you know uh one of the mandatory subjects you have is engineer drawings Yes. Mm, okay. So seventh grade, you have engineer drawings. Like this is like your regular subject. You just you know like in engineer drawings. Like... You know like what? Sorry, um, but no, it's okay. It's like what is the like all architecture yes, or something like that? Architectural, but like wow. for example, they will bring like a actual piece of machinery and like mm-hmm. and now draw it in three different dimensions with all the like wow. right yeah this is this is mandatory like all seven hmm. seven grades like sit there and just uh, doing this drawing of the mechanical part that's interesting yeah, it's it's Russia for you uh, but <laughs> I really liked it I was really good uh-huh. at it it's just like taking you mm-hmm. know a some weird part and seen it from three different directions. So I uh, really like that and really like computer games. So, mm-hmm. um, and it's also really weird in Russia at some point, there was this 3ds Max disc floating around. I know so <laughs> many artists, Russian 3D artists who got into 3D because they had their hands on that disc and mm-hmm. it's also like the, the weird random time where like there were so many just 
discs out of nowhere and it's also like this like is it pirated is it not you don't <laughs> do not even know so uh, yeah uh, yeah yeah i didn't have what year what year are you thinking oh what a year uh-huh. like like maybe 99 ish 2000 somewhere in there it has after that to be because because kind of at the same time i remember it was going around with a lot of my friends as well and yeah and it, you had to have a dongle to use 3d max so this mm-hmm. cd that was going around was definitely pirated oh yeah for yeah. sure it's russia so yeah. everything is pirated uh but, but, <laughs> but it was like 3ds max 7 at that point and uh uh-huh. nice. uh, i didn't have even internet in my uh, you know computer but i got 3ds max Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Didn't All right. didn't have Photoshop either. Didn't know that Photoshop was a thing. Mm-hmm. A thing. Got into Photoshop because I needed to make textures of the models. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. And uh, <clears throat> that was my um, end of my high school. Uh, and that's how I got into 3D. Um, and uh, it's weird. So I got into Photoshop because I got into 3D. And uh, right. Uh, then turns out that Photoshop was really good too, and somehow I became a web designer for seven years. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I almost went down that rabbit hole yeah, myself. Yeah. yeah, I can understand how that could happen. Yeah, um, but pretty much um, I'm, I'm skipping a whole bunch of things, but um, at some point I'm in Moscow. I am a web designer, pretty, you know, okay web designer. Uh, mm-hmm. But I still do in 3D on the side, uh, mostly mm-hmm. yeah. like my personal projects. And uh, um, I think I st- told this story like a million times, but I, here, <laughs> here we go again. Uh, it's new to me. Yes. Yeah. Um, so huge nerd. Uh, Lord of the Rings was everything to me. Like my, my, my final uh, nice. art project from my art school was uh, I did three triptych. Uh, dedicated to Lord of the Rings, like all the epic mm-hmm. scenes in like ink and mm-hmm. stuff. Uh, but you know, Lord of the Rings is gone, and there's nothing for a while. You just like like there's really nothing, and then yeah. Game of Thrones came in. So first season of Game of there Thrones, I watched and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. So um, I made a whole bunch of. Uh, fun art wallpapers with the sigils of different houses, which mm-hmm. went viral. Oh, cool. Yes. Okay. And a couple months after that, I'm in Russia doing websites. Um, dude from LA um, emailing me, hey, we're working on Game of Thrones season two poster campaign. <laughs> Do you want to join? Nice. Mm, nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Just out of the blue. Out of the blue. I was like, wow. Yes. It's like, what's your rate? I'm like, I'll do it for free. It's like, no, oh no, 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 no. We, we, we have to pay you. How, how is 500 bucks per day? And I am in freaking Russia doing websites. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm like, sounds great. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, I freelanced for them while still having my full-time job doing websites. Freelance nice. for them for like about a year, and then then uh, invited me here. And what's funny awesome. in that particular like after I accepted uh, like uh, their offer and visa stuff started you know kicking in. Um, mm-hmm. Three weeks from there, I I got another email from Denmark asking to oh. join like a website like a web development company in Denmark Mm -hmm. never ever Mm -hmm. again I had this like hey let's go to a different country sort of thing and there are like three three weeks separations between those two and I'm like what happened there I don't know right but and it's and it's like that's a crossroads right there because it's like yeah. You know, web development versus 3D. Yeah. yeah you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. you could be on a completely different podcast. I know. I know. It could be right. UI and, uh, <laughs> yeah. Usability. <clears throat> yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Wow. I'm sure that's helpful, though, in some situations, right? Like, have, have, do you have any jobs now where it's helpful to have that background? Yeah, yeah. for sure. 100%. Because, like, websites, it's not just about, uh, like, user journey and stuff, though still like seeing uh 
seeing work from that perspective is good. Like you think about what uh, your potential users will see first, where should they go after that, what's their like mm -hmm. call to action and stuff. Plus, um, yeah. yeah, what they will see on the screen, even like when you do your own sites or um, like Instagram stuff or anything. Um, plus typography, like I think uh, just mm -hmm. general yeah. design, like graphic design uh, came from that side of my career. I had amazing, amazing art directors. I was like, I think my entire life, I'm so freaking lucky with my teachers. And the reason, mm -hmm. you know, why I'm here right now, because I bumped into amazing people who were very, you know, uh, generous in sharing their knowledge. And uh, uh, so graphic design came from there. And uh, I think if you combine, you know, beautiful 3D compositing, Photoshop making, like, oh, you can make this epic, awesome 2D image. And sometimes you just need to slap a right t type on it in right places, mm -hmm. and it just makes yeah. it so much better. And so, and so often I see, um, you know, amazing, amazing art with bad topography, and you're like, oh no. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Comic Sans, Papyrus. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. Know. So, Zapfino. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. That's uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wingdings, <laughs> wingdings. <laughs> um, but yeah, and uh, so then I did key art for about three years in here. Uh, did some fi uh, finishes like like crown, for example. First season key art is mine. Um, mm -hmm. What like Tomorrowland? Uh, some finishes some true detective stuff um mm, but cool. what's funny um i also um uh, i'm sorry i'm just like keep talking and talking and talking but i guess no that, you're that, fine that's the you're podcast fine. part this is why we're here <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah at some point um uh, doing key art and it's like still i am doing um 3d mixed with photoshop at that job Mm -hmm. It's not motion mm -hmm. yet. It's just three D mixed right. with Photoshop. Sometimes, like there would be weeks where it's just compositing, three D comp uh, not three D, but like Photoshop compositing. Um, mm -hmm. And sometimes there will be like, okay, now we need like some iconic concepts. Go and do some stuff in three D. But it's very isolating. It's very weird. I, for example, know just maybe like two or three other people who are who who has similar background. They're in key art, but in three D. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and um, yeah, it's very isolating. You, you you want some kind of development, some community, but uh, yeah, uh, and people you are with, they're great, but it's all like Photoshop stuff. Um, so sure, um, right. And at that point, I was like, I want to learn more about like motion. I also saw, mm -hmm. um, you know, Patrick Claire was shining bright at that moment uh with the mm -hmm. true detective season one and then yeah. the west world and stuff i'm like this is amazing i want to do that yeah. um yeah so um i sent my like works to a different companies and Mio hired me hooray that's awesome yes we're actually um uh, had a chance to work with patrick claire on uh, true detective season three uh, nice. Yeah. Um, and uh, generally, like meal experience was amazing, and um, just knowing people I know now, and like I met so in my key art company, I met my one of my best friends there. But you know, they're my best buddies. But it's not so like three D and art oriented. Uh, mm -hmm. But at the meal, just because they bring so many people outside us too like they pretty much pick yeah. best best artists and yeah in the world yes yeah. yes lots of koreans because <laughs> <laughs> because they're apparently the best yeah <laughs> yeah every, every, every time we had like a new korean person coming in you're like oh shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> this guy's going to another person to show me yeah, up yeah, yeah yeah so <laughs> we all have to like step up our game now 
That's funny. Yeah. Uh, Did, so so in as far as like motion, you were you were creating this stuff. It was a mix of three D. So you were in three D, right? Yeah, you you were you're in cinema, but you're just not animating I right? was uh, doing 3ds max all the way till that point oh, okay. and then uh when i gotcha. uh, went to work at the meal uh and meal at, the, at that point had two different departments uh design department and production department so production mm-hmm. department it's your heavy lifting vfx department with uh, mm-hmm. uh maya full swing uh houdini yeah. and stuff and design department which is Cinema 4D um, and more, more graphy stuff. And sometimes, mm-hmm. like what's cool about Meal, uh, they can combine those departments. Like if, for example, you have, cool. um, you know, just, um, I don't know, some Samsung speaker with more graphy stuff, they throw <clears throat> uh, Cinema 4D people in it. If it's like advertising with VFX, they throw production mm-hmm. in it. And sometimes they combine it when... You know, you need something from both worlds. That's cool. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah. But yeah, met so many awesome people there, switched to cinema, um, started hmm. doing some motion. Still, um, you know, I, I, in ideal world, prefer to work with animators rather than animate myself. Yeah. But sometimes yeah. you got to do what you got to do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How'd you find the transition from Max to Cinema 4D? easy it doesn't matter like it yeah. really doesn't matter it's just yeah. jump it's it's all the same stuff there are, some tools are different different like you know um cinema uvs at that point were terrible yeah, uh, yeah. um yeah. so sometimes i had to go back and uh, unwrap stuff in a different software uh but right. like more graph is i think that's why cinema is so huge it's like yeah. houdini on just better use user friendly base yes um, yeah. yeah so <clears throat> the community is great yeah community is mm-hmm. great and cinema itself is just you know so friendly mm-hmm. like every time people ask me uh, what software they should learn i tell them go either cinema 4d because it's very easy to learn uh, or blender just because it's free Right, right. right. Yeah. Same here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nidia Diaz, when she was on the show, she was talking about that too. She doesn't do any animation really. Yeah, when it comes to the stuff she she built, she just builds it out, and then it's like here's somebody else. Going yeah, and, and yeah. that's kind of yeah. nice. that's the beauty. Like at the meal, that was that that's what was so cool. You had those amazing collaborations inside of the company where you mm-hmm. uh, create like you know they have the separation between. Um, um designers and animators so um me as a designer or art director um i would uh create my frames but i also mm-hmm. know i have in mind that it's going to be animated later on so i i, I try to make it as much production friendly as possible and then i just right, give it yeah. to someone else uh, and they do their magic with that it's ridiculous it's like yeah. you, you, yeah, you yeah, see yeah. It's such a pleasure to work with professionals and whatever uh-huh. they got, they make it uh-huh. not better, just bring it to a completely new level and you yeah. see kind of glimpse of your work and in, in their view and their just approach. It's awesome. So yeah, yeah. New, new yeah. in that way yeah. was super cool. And met. <clears throat> What's uh, uh, similar along those lines you know, we've hired a bunch of people for this big project that we're working on, you know, and we're delivering concepts for, you know, different parts. And so I always tell, I tell the folks who, you know, the freelancers that we're bringing on, I say, build it out. Cause we only need a still frame. I said, build it out and build it out as if we're going to animate it, you know, yeah. Yep. you know, so spend the time, but you don't have to get it perfect. You know, it's like, okay, if we're using X particles, you know, for a certain part, build it out with the X particles. Don't worry about the timing, you know, just get that one still frame so that we can of get the general idea. But then the project is set up to where, you know, now the person can, can take get, it yeah, you can start and doing adjust stuff. it exactly like it needs to be, you know, That's which has been we... very, it's been very helpful. Yep. 
we did this we did like the same project last year when we first started we were like doing these nice <clears throat> mock-ups in photoshop and mm-hmm. copy and pasting all the different pieces and just getting it all just perfect and then in photoshop and it's like okay now you got to animate it and it's like okay <laughs> now we got to kind of start over yeah so once you and, and it depends because you might have a client where that's absolutely necessary to yeah. do style frames. However, if you get in a groove with a project like that where you could just it's just quicker just to m- make the stuff instead of yeah. mocking it up. Yeah. You might as well just do it that way and then like it's ready to animate. Yeah. I like how uh there was a kitty on the background oh, is, and it was is that what you, that you would not see the, the cat but you see the shadow, <laughs> the shadow of like this gigantic cat passing by yeah that's funny and sorry Matt, was, my... what was the cat doing <laughs> just getting on my toys and making noise and stuff like well you you couldn't see it obviously but we uh, were commenting on you could see the shadow of the cat in the in the light <laughs> walking around back there and then you just got up like okay the cat's misbehaving <laughs> yeah and stupid I have cat. the stupid doors to where you just press them down and they open. So he just randomly comes in whenever he wants. Yeah, dude. So I have to I actually lock that was the door. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. I had no idea that was a thing with cats. And, yeah. and then a bunch of people have been, yeah, my cat opens the door. I'm like, how? Yeah. Just pull the no handle. I'm like, yeah. really? Yeah. Wow. It's like the same one you've got, Sasha, behind you. You know, just pulls it down, opens it right up. How wow. tall is your yeah. cat? I mean... I don't know. Long cat is long. <laughs> long cat is long. Like Did you like a tiger there then? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't jump. He can just reach it. He can just reach it. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah. Just I, I want to see a video of it though. <laughs> well, Picture see, I would happen. much rather him do that. I know we totally just like <laughs> change the subject. <laughs> totally derailed. But, but, I know. but like, yeah, I know. But cats <laughs> though. He uh, the internet loves them. So like the first or the first house and like the third house we owned with this cat we had just regular doorknobs and so i would much rather him have just walk in whenever he wants because otherwise it's just on the door until you finally get up and let him in you know right right it's awful yeah that's my mornings i have a dog and a cat and so dog sleeps with us in the bedroom and cat sleeps outside because yeah. My boyfriend has a cat allergy. <laughs> uh, uh, um, so does my wife. And we've had my cat for like 13 yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and that cat was uh, with him for like 90 years or something. Like, great choice. Mm. But mm-hmm. So cat starts scratching in the morning, wakes up the dog, yep. and dog mm-hmm. starts pacing. Yep. And you're like, I'm going to break something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully not your your, your tablet. tablet though. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. That is, hopefully that is, not. That is, that is, that is, never, never, never. Yeah, yeah. I have uh, maybe the, the, the cat. The cat is like thirteen years old, and then I have a dog who's like a year and a half, and so the dog loves to play with the cat. And he, the 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 dog, she thinks she's being protective of me, you know. And it's like no girl come on <laughs> and so like the cat will jump off the bed and the dog will be right there you know like about to attack it's like what just leave the cat alone come on it is hilarious let the cat be yeah. to see dynamic between dogs and cats my cat uh-huh. chases my dog it's like they go to the yard and you can see it just like the uh-huh. dog <laughs> running circles away from the cat yeah so yeah it's really funny because like we'll be in like, because we don't let the cat come in uh, our media room because if we have guests over who are, you know, who are allergic, we don't want them. We want them to have a safe place to go. Mm-hmm. And so, like, my dog will be asleep and, like, you can be like, Pixel, Pixel, wake up, Pixel, <laughs> Seriously, Pixel, you know, the nothing. Cat's name. And she will just be dead to the well, world. But the second the dog you say, name. yeah, that's the dog's yeah, name. Yeah. The second the cat walks in, you go, Virtue, the dog's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know. You say the cat's name and the dog. I know, out. I know. Same here. Like, if you say cat, yeah, yeah. It's like, it, it, and he knows. And if uh, cat yeah. is not here, he goes and finds it and then starts bugging yeah. the cat. <laughs> yep, yep. It's so funny. <laughs> so stupid. Oh man. So anyway, <laughs> sorry. Motion graphics. Yeah, motion graphics. Uh, okay, what are you working on now? Is the question. Oh, actually, can Besides I? Besides NFTs, which we'll I, talk about. Can I interject mm-hmm. real quick? 
Okay. Because I want to talk about, uh, so you've done, have you, have you done a lot of work in ZBrush as well? Oh, yeah. Because I've noticed I, that on your Instagram. I'd love to hear about your process with ZBrush. Dude, with ZBrush, I started ZBrush approximately the same time I started um, 3ds Max 7. <laughs> it's not surprising because okay. it is yeah. like the work that you've been doing is gorgeous. But, what, what's funny, like... Knowing how long I've been working in ZBrush, I should be so much better. But with ZBrush, it's weird. <laughs> it's like I come back to it every like six months and have to be like, okay, so that was, uh -huh, and then that button, uh -huh. but because right, right, I, yeah. I, I did it so many times, <laughs> yeah. it comes back to me mm -hmm. like in 20 minutes. Uh, but yeah, I need to refresh it and dive deeper and uh, like it's so, uh, yeah, like I love ZBrush and also I can brag a little bit that um, I, one of my, uh, like the ways I learned it, I actually had, um, you know, Rafael Grossetti? Uh, uh, Rafael again? Grossetti? I don't, I don't think well, I do. Well, he is I like an amazing character artist who uh, worked for games and, you know, also uh, NFT related, sold a whole bunch of mm -hmm. awesome, like, um, portraits for lots of lots of money uh mm -hmm. and he yeah. has like six hundred thousand followers on instagram wow well i yes. had um he um had like a classes in la where like live classes where you come over mm -hmm. and he sculpts in front of <laughs> you and gives you assignments and stuff like this so mm -hmm. that's nice two, best two hundred dollars i ever spent yeah, wow. like I, I, I've been taught by a legend <laughs> and uh, right. life. Yeah, so that was super cool. That is cool. Yeah. I, I, I love sculpting. I, I, I have barely touched ZBrush at all, but I love sculpting in cinema. Always have. I, f I feel like you just get a much more organic and you're able to like control it a lot better. I'm terrible at it, but I know what all the tools do, you know. Yeah, I don't know. Tony, Tony says you should use Adobe Medium. Huh. Tony, I don't yeah. know what Adobe Medium is. Yeah, I don't so know. So it's Adobe. Oculus Medium. Oh, that's Still right. Don't know. Yeah, it's eh. purchase. That's the it's VR, v it's VR sculpting. sculpting. Oh, okay. Stuff. Yeah. 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 Which it's it's kind of its own thing. Like some people get into are more into doing it in 3D. Mm -hmm. You know, and and I'm kind of curious. Like if somebody is already super into ZBrush. Yeah. Does it? Is it going to feel like a step back? Is it going right. to be fun? Is it going to be worth it at all? Do it in right. your, to, uh, to do it in VR. Yeah, I'm sure it's going know. to be fun, but then you still will come back to ZBrush. They have too many yeah. awesome features there. And plus, all the yeah. million polys you can move just on a whim. Like, oh, 32 yeah. million yeah. Po po polygons model. Sure, not a problem. No yeah. problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's funny yeah. yeah how do you learn i mean i know you've been in it for a long time so it's probably kind of hard to say now but it's like w w do you know some good resources for learning more zbrush if people want to get into it are there people that you kind of go to if you get maybe lost on a problem or... i think i mean zbrush is an awesome um you know tutorial base themselves on their standard side. And every time I also need to like, oh, nice. oh how do I work with curves again? ZBrush curves. <laughs> yeah. Two, uh, two minutes uh, yeah. tutorial exactly yeah. about ZBrush curves. So I, yeah, I yeah. think ZBrush is very straightforward to learn. Uh, what's very intimidating about it, it has so much. Like, I mean, but like any other 3D uh, software and it just, uh, mindset of you don't need to know everything just learn yeah, that part yeah. which you needed to make and ignore yeah. everything else it's just too much it's overwhelming yeah i feel like and you know the longer you're in a software the more you'll eventually get you know you may eventually get to everything yeah. you know but it, it could take time yeah. and you don't necessarily need it like for example, this past week I started doing uh, uh, motion motion clips, mm -hmm. you know, in cinema. Mm -hmm. Like I've never technically done a motion clip before in cinema. I always knew they were there, 
you know so but good. it's yeah what, it, they're what great do they do? you know like bl- so motion clips like say you've got like an animation like say you took okay so what i did was i had a character um and it was uh it was terribly rigged you know from uh uh from the original, so I Turbo took it into, Squid. from Turbo Squid. Yeah, so I took. I it bought into, it, and it <clears throat> wasn't good enough. It was weird. So like, it had an arm, yeah, I, and I would like rig it up, and then like it all be twisted at the yeah. wrist, and I'm like, okay, well the weight is really it bad. Said Cinema 4D on yeah. it. Yeah, I thought yeah, it would yeah. be better because it was so, native, but yeah. it wasn't rigged well. So I uh, I took it into Mixamo, okay, you know, and then added an animation to it. And but I needed that animation to hit at a specific time, so I took the entire you know I, once I brought it back into cinema, I, I put it all into a null and then did like animation create motion clip. Okay, I know what so motion clips are. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then it keeps that animation. What's awesome is like you can extend it, you can shorten it, you know. So I was able to have it do at exactly the correct time, you know. Which was great. Uh, when I was working on Forest, you know, um, the, mm-hmm. the short uh, went to motion mm-hmm. clips quite a bit. And it's funny, yeah. you like cinema actually has so much to it than you can find on tutorials. Like I found ways mm-hmm. to split like this skeleton animation from, you know, top to bottom and uh, like combine yeah. it there. But it's like, it was so like, okay, and then, uh, and it's... <laughs> So not native, and you can't find tutorials for yeah. it. It's just mm-hmm. yeah. But it's if you dig into the whole motion clip thing, there's so much more to it. Yeah, yeah. It's a very it's a it, man. It's such a robust program. It's super yeah, cool. For sure. Yeah, yeah. And um, mm-hmm. by the way, if anybody wants to check out more on your short film, we should probably talk about that. Mm-hmm. We actually have an article up on uh, MoGraph.com, MoGraph.com slash news. If you want to check it out, we've got uh, a whole write up here on on your process, which is fun. Gorgeous. I have to uh, do the shout outs here to Wusun, uh, Wusun Kang, Mm -hmm. uh, who is um, uh, art director at The Meal. Uh, And so pretty much it's our collaboration. Like I did the uh, story style frames and this is what's like that uh, process where I would create the scene looked at it mm-hmm. everything and then pass it to him and he does his magic and it wasn't just him they're like um, you know uh, Kyle Moore was part of it uh, Anastasia was part of it uh, uh, Ilya was part of it so but mostly Wusan um, you know drove the whole animation part of it um, and mm-hmm. it was amazing to work like that. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a question in the chat. I don't know how to pronounce the name. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> does Sasha have some abstract or real great achievement in mind she'd like to achieve one day in 3D? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when I started, like, a long time ago, I was like, I gotta be the mm-hmm. best out of the best. And I'm like, nah, I'll, yeah. I'll just do my thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you just, you, <laughs> you, you, you can be best of the best. It's just like, it's just, I think it's important to tune in to what's, whatever's happening with you in your head mm-hmm. and your world and just, you know, do your own thing. That's much more pleasant. Totally. Totally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah. that person I I can never I have no idea how to pronounce the name. I always see I think it's a person in the Sergio, uh, but I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, the, uh, it's somebody that I see in the Maxon chat a lot yeah. too. Whenever the Maxon streams are going, so <laughs> <laughs> so what <clears throat> what is next right now? Do you, do you have any sort of short film planned? Are you working on any projects? Um, or? Well, with the whole NFT thing, there is so much going on. Uh, it pretty much all my personal... Before it was just a personal projects in mind, and now it's like personal projects combined with NFT. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, like I mentioned to you uh, guys earlier, that uh, uh, I'm working on that uh, collab with Cruella. Uh, we, can, yeah. we can talk about mm-hmm. it, I guess, a little later. Um, yeah, we'll talk about it on the yeah, draw. Yeah, same, same sure. deal. Uh, there was this uh, Engel uh, collaboration. Forty nine artists did piece for them. 
of not for them for for us it was super cool we can talk about it then at, at that time too um yeah <laughs> and uh well then, just generally yeah. like all yeah. my all, all my uh personal projects right now it's like nft related because i can pretty much do what i w- would do anyway as my personal projects mm-hmm. but now it's like well maybe i can do it <laughs> yeah, yeah totally huh. Well, yeah. let's do some MoGraph yeah. recommends so we can get to those NFTs then. Yeah, 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 cool. yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's we're gonna we're gonna ask three favorites on these, and mm-hmm. as usual, I'll say these can these don't have to be all time favorites. Mm-hmm. They could be just like a recent favorite or something you're you're into currently or something. So we'll start with your favorite movie. Um, I love uh, a whole. Oh, Ghibli stuff is awesome. Tikkun Crate is awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, big yeah. into anime. Um, the Eternal Sunshine of the mm. never can remember. Spotless. Eternal Sunshine. Yes. Of yes. The... Wait. Spot. Spotless. Spotless yes. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. What else? God, I haven't seen that in so long. I kind of so want to go rewatch that. I now. saw a movie recently called Tigers <clears throat> Never Die or something like that. Never. It's a. That sounds familiar. It, 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 uh, it was. Um, no. It's, tigers never cry. No, no, no tigers. <laughs> Tiger. It's, it's in Spanish, <laughs> and it's uh, only like it's in Mexico. Gosh, I'll think about it. It's. It was awesome. It blew my mind. It was so good, um, and that uh, it was on Prime. I had to buy it. Tigers mm. movie Mexico. I don't know. Well, if you think yes. of it, I was trying to look up La Tigre. Oh, tigers are not afraid. Lit- tigers are not afraid. Tigers, tigers are that not was afraid. Fantastic. Okay. I strongly recommend. Um, uh-huh. Okay. And what about TV shows? While we're on that, uh, again, lots of anime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like uh, so, <laughs> you know. I uh, also made my boyfriend now watch anime. I finally cor- corrupted <laughs> him after like five yes. years. <laughs> finally, That's funny. what what was the introduction? Uh, what was the uh, Attack on Titans? Um, yeah, like, see, I we're gonna have to try it, yeah, Dave. Yeah. That's gonna have what to. everyone's have telling us. Um, I yeah. know. Uh, and uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, Kaisen, um, that, that that's mm-hmm. fun to watch too. It just from like that one is so good. Just from the visual perspective, their fight scenes are awesome, camera angles are awesome, animation is awesome. You're like, oh, this is just a visual porn. So uh, <laughs> super <laughs> uh-huh. cool. Um, but just like TV shows, TV shows. Um, I don't know. Where can I watch Attack on Titan? Yeah. Blue? Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll. Oh, Crunchyroll, of course. Yeah, but I don't. <laughs> All right. Come on. <laughs> isn't isn't Crunchyroll free no. on like or do you have no, I think, I think it so. also has yeah. like uh, HBO Max uh, collaboration with that sort of. So oh, maybe okay. Much oh. there. I'm not sure. Cool. I'm, I I see it on Crunchyroll. Watch it on Crunchyroll. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah. All right. Mald- Mandalorian season two was okay. I kind of enjoyed it. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was yeah. Great. I thought it was great. Cool. I, I Ted Lasso, oh, that oh yeah. so good, <laughs> I am so yeah, I'm so, so great. I'm not done with it. No spoilers, but yes, this is very. Oh, good you so haven't far. finished it yet? I'm jealous. No, I haven't finished it yet. I've oh, been working man. freaking sixteen hours yeah, a day for like the yeah. last three months. I, I'm trying, yeah. but <laughs> oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> but uh, what was the one I uh, started watching on on Apple TV? Uh, uh, the astronaut one? No, it's the one. No, that that For one is. Oh man, that's <laughs> so good. For all mankind is so good. There's one episode left this season, but uh, it, mythic, Qu- mythic. What is it Quest, called? Yes, it's the one mythic of- Quest. Mythic yeah, Quest? I enjoyed the season. Okay, uh, like people had kind of mixed reviews about it, but I also really like their quarantine episode. Uh, like almost. That's what made a lot of people cry. said. Like the. Yeah, I, I. That's so funny that you said that because like other people have said the quarantine. I'm not to the quarantine episode yet. I've only watched two, but yeah. Uh, all but right. Yeah, guys. I'm ten, hearing more and more lasso. about this. Whoever haven't seen it, so gotta good. see it. This is like yeah. superheroes yeah. we need right now, not like superheroes yeah. we 
see all the time. Deserve. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Ted Lasso okay, made me uh, get back into uh, Premier League soccer, <laughs> Premier League football. You know, <laughs> I like I, I enjoyed I enjoyed soccer, like watching the, the World Cup, you know, like a few years ago. Yeah. But man, like watching that, I was like, all right, got to get back into it. West Ham United, that's my yeah. team. And it's also like you, oh. you think it's a sport like show, but then you start watching it, it's like, uh-huh. oh no, it's not about sports really. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's like it's so funny because they'll go into a game like they're about to start a game and then the next cut scene will be right after the game's <laughs> yeah, like, over and you're like, like <laughs> Oh, I don't have to watch the game? Okay, cool. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Kevin says Attack on Titan is pretty good, but actually Breaking Bad <laughs> is the best show he's ever seen, yeah. except yeah. for maybe The Wire. I yeah. mean Wire yeah. was yeah. awesome, yeah. yes. Check those Breaking out. Bad I <laughs> couldn't get through because I I, 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 I struggle with the shows where That's wh- okay. Where, uh, main characters make bad decision over and over again. I'm just like I, I'm yeah, so yeah, like yeah. why again are you break in my heart. I can't I can't, I can't right, do it to right. myself anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I wa- had the worst problem with Fiona on on Shameless because she made so many stupid decisions that eventually you're like, uh okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When are you gonna learn? Yeah, yeah. I struggle with those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tony sent us uh, a little a little sample of uh, what he's been working on uh, in Oculus Medium. Got to see it. Oh, okay. Figured I'd, okay. I'd bring yeah. this up real Switch quick it. just so you can see. So he actually sculpted Ooh, this in Oculus Medium. That is Medium. crazy. Just crazy. I, I know Ooh. Tony also has a, a 3D printer and probably a fun combination. Yeah. Yeah, he's oh, doing look. those uh, resin prints too, yeah. right? Here's vi- oh man, yeah. he's got his whole thirty minute video of him <laughs> doing all of the wow the sculpting. Fun. This is Dropbox, so who knows? <laughs> you know, gosh, look at that's that. crazy! Wow, okay, that's, that's crazy. Okay, okay, detail, maybe though. maybe there is a few, like uh, maybe I'll take it back. <laughs> yeah, Sasha, Good have you Lord. done have you done any VR stuff? Uh, I done some VR stuff uh, at the meal. Um, where okay, I mean, what do you mean? Like we had the whole, um, you know, like are you are you into VR at all? You know, like you play games. Do you have you tried yeah. something? I, you know, again, like all my experience with VR, um, like was meal related. We had uh, like mm-hmm. a VR set with a, a Google. Drawing, whatever you call it. Sure. Uh, uh, that's tilt, tilt brush. brush. Yes, that was super fun. Yeah. Um, and yeah. you know they also have entire department mm-hmm. like dedicated to uh, this kind of stuff. It was um, uh, we had a music video uh, project where uh, we shot everything on um, you know stage with the. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, with a camera with just like un- connected to Unreal where it's a lifetime yeah. sort of connection to yeah, the yeah, scene yeah, yeah. which been created before and you can see it, it, mm-hmm. it, it was nuts it's like awesome to see it but um, um, you know now I'm uh, kind of getting a little away from it but mm-hmm. just because I didn't have a chance and uh, uh, worked too much to like I almost do not play video games now, though I really enjoy it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm really, I feel really fortunate when I have a moment to look at video. I know games. it's like luxury, oh. right? Yeah. Ask right. me how many times I played Cyberpunk. How many times? Right. <laughs> I know <laughs> once. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sashia Dumont. I'm a writer, actor, and filmmaker. Hi, my name is Paul Robinson. I'm a director, DP, and filmmaker. We are the creators and hosts of the Go Gorilla Filmcast, an online source for all things indie film. We are a husband and wife film team and co-owners of Send3 Productions, and we started this podcast for filmmakers like ourselves who were producing on micro-budgets with Skeleton Crews. Go Gorilla is a weekly podcast that features various talents in TV, film, and web series productions. We've interviewed filmmaker powerhouses like Kestrin Pantera, Richard Raymond, Alex Ferrari, Cassandra Ebner, and Ryan Connolly. Amazing actors like Hannah Ward, Lou Taylor Pucci, Chris Wataski, and Eileen Gruba. Groundbreaking cinematographers like Jody Lee Lipes, and Jessica Lee Gagne, and many more. We also offer weekly reviews of our favorite films and shows, which vary from low-budget first-time filmmakers 
to A-listers and everyone in between. Go Gorilla is proud to announce that we have officially joined the MoGraph Podcast Network. So if you love filmmaking as much as we do, tune in every Sunday for a new episode of the Go Gorilla Filmcast. Your, your source, source for, for all things indie film. film. Now available on the MoGraph Podcast Network. I've played well, Cyberpunk one, one for about as long as I've played uh, uh, Skyrim. About an hour. You right. customize your character and then I'm done. It's yeah. just enough to get through the 45 minute intro of mm -hmm. yeah of Skyrim. And then sure. you're like, well, that was exhausting. I'm going to take a break. Yeah. Now that the yeah, game yeah. started. At some yeah. point I started playing a while ago Red Dead Redemption. And you know how they all say I, that yeah. it's supposed to get good either after first chapter or second chapter? And after, yeah. like, yeah. I don't know, 48 hours on a horse everywhere. <laughs> All my yeah. saves just gone. Never ever happened to me. Oh no! I just don't know what happened. But I'm like, oh, I. Man. Same thing with that. I played it like two times. Man, well, that's wasted awful. my money on video games. <clears throat> Oh. I uh yeah I, I, that's that's one of the so, hard things like when you've got such an in depth game like Skyrim or Cyberpunk or Red Dead Redemption too you know like you you only have like an hour to play a video game or two hours and then you turn it on and you're like okay well there's my hour you know yeah, I guess I'll pick it up like in downloading, six months setting it you know? up getting it ready getting through the intro playing yeah. the first chapter so that right. you can hit a save point so that you right. don't have to start <laughs> right. over the next time <laughs> right yeah. that's why I love yeah, yeah and, and that's what you just <laughs> yeah I was gonna say that's exactly yeah. like that's why people like Call of Duty, Duty or Halo or something like that where they can just hop just into hop it on. Pwn a bunch noobs. of noobs for like an hour <laughs> yeah. and then you're good. You know, yeah. you get your yeah. fill. It's funny. Yeah. Speaking of which, yeah, well, I guess that kind of covers us, but favorite video game is one of the questions. So, yeah. I mean, I. Witcher, Witcher 3 was my ultimate favorite. Uh, cool. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, play Call of Duty. Did you like the, the Witcher uh, uh, show on Netflix? Uh, I, mm. I enjoyed it because I love Witcher. Mm -hmm. I, I, well, Witcher, Witcher. W and V yeah. for Russians is like at least for me is yeah. like oh, yeah. I can't do that. Uh, That's well, all right. <laughs> but yeah, I, I read all the books uh, and played video games. It's funny. It started for me for me like start with the video games, then I read books, and then I watched TV uh -huh. show, and I enjoyed it because you know like I'm a fan and it was catered for right. me. But I. Um, you know, also being a fan, I'm like, well, this this does not match. Where is that right. character? And <laughs> this arc is completely yeah. different. So it's like that's made funny. me mad. Like with what happens with people who read books before TV shows. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, or people How who about... have read like uh, uh, what's what's that one video game or the VR movie? Uh, Ready Player yeah. One. Oh, I heard yeah. a, a lot of people who said, if you've read the book, you're going to hate the movie. But if yeah. you haven't read the book, you're going to love the movie. Right. It's really yeah. funny. How about uh, music? Favorite music? And and I've got to run to the restroom, but keep going. Do it. I'll, I'll be um, back. Do it. I don't know. I, 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 this is, th that question always throws me off. I'm so um, bad with remembering band names. Uh -huh. So... Uh -huh. uh, uh, I. What do you like to listen to while like you're working or like in the car or whatever? I love like, what is it that you'll throw on? Indie rock folk. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, any any particular bands? Well, now I can promote Cruella because you know we had a. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> we had a collab with them, um, <clears throat> but mm -hmm. I don't know. It's uh, I can't, I can't really tell. It's just. Not, not yeah. like music is mostly like a uh, background to me, but uh, yeah. it's also very important. Can't work without music. Lots of lots of yeah. uh, um, you know soundtracks for uh, movies and yeah, like mm -hmm. anime too. Um, yeah, love all the like folky rock stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Grew up with Metallica. Like my my nice. My cousins were really into I Metallica. I feel so. like a lot of a lot of uh, Russians and like Germans love Metallica. 
you know. We do, we do. <laughs> I feel like I feel like it's almost like it's almost like required. Yeah. <laughs> like you've got the technical drawing class that's required, but you also have to. Yeah, love you Metallica. just it's combined. You know, you you have Metallica in the background and engineering drawing, uh-huh. so it's like, oh, you in Russia. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, you're not the first person who makes fun of me for that. My, my boyfriend's uh-huh. like, "Yep." No, yep. no make, no making fun of. No, I, I, I dug Metallica James back Hattel. in the day, yeah. right? <laughs> oh, hello. hello. <laughs> We're just right. talking about how all Russians and Germans love Metallica. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's funny because I was just thinking about uh, Tatiana and. She's totally <laughs> <She's> Metallica. <laughs> totally uh, all funny. over it. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Uh, well, any any more any more? Should I move to the next one here? No, you can move to the next Gosh, one. Gosh, I can't believe how long we Okay. Let's I know, see. right? Jeez. All right. Uh podcasts. Do you listen to them? And if so I weirdly love history podcasts. It's like not, not yeah. right. I, I love Nothing weird about that yeah, at all. Like Nothing revolutions, no. history chicks. So I'm like, I just, I, some things need something completely different from art. I just, like, everything yeah. around me is art, 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 art related. So, history, yes. Love it. Mm-hmm. Tell, tell me about good evolution. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, where I'm lost. We're so out of order on this one. Let's see. Yeah. Plug-in. Not render engine. Yeah. But favorite plug-in. Do you have a go-to? And it could be 3D, 2D, like After yeah. Effects, uh, Photoshop. Photoshop. I mean, yeah. Photoshop, Substance Painter, <laughs> ZBrush, After Effects. Um, I mean, Cinema by default, but Marvelous. Plug- Any specific is there a plug-in plug-in within no, the... Plug-in uh, that's okay. No, no, it's I, okay. I, I, it's okay not it's to actually use plugins. Pretty good, yeah. You know, if you if you don't use any plugins, I feel like that's pretty good. I, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm such a like. Um, I have a purist. Like, not purist. purist. Not yeah. purist. I'm not not at all purist. <laughs> but because I use so many different softwares, I did not have yeah. chance to go deep into it. So I'm just like. Mm. That makes yeah. sense. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. What about app? You yeah. have a muscle memory app, something you're Photoshop. always on. No, on your phone. Well, on your phone. On my phone app. On my phone. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What's your what? What's your muscle memory app? Could you not get away from? I mean, email, Instagram. Uh, disc- <laughs> email. Most people say Instagram. <laughs> d- d- Discord <laughs> yeah. became a little too addictive right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. What else? Have you been in like dis- discords for NFTs and things? Is that why it's getting addictive? Uh, it was. Uh, well, right now we have the whole uh, collaboration chat and Discord, uh, like yeah. a whole bunch of collaborations happening in on mm-hmm. Discord. So, uh, and yeah. you know, with that um, forty nine artist collaboration, it's just fun sometimes to uh, see what's what people just chatting about, even if it's not work related. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. And did we cover everything? Oh, now this is the tough one. So get ready. You might need <laughs> mm-hmm. a second. Yeah. This is your favorite life hack. And our example of this I, is... Actually, can I... Can I, uh, I, I would like to uh, uh, point out a different life hack that is okay. similar to the Mitch Myers one. All right. Right. All right. I saw now, this the Mitch on Myers TikTok. One for, Mitch Myers for, one. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. For, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> it's you turn your toaster on its side and you can do to make some bomb ass grilled cheese to make some bomb ass grilled cheese right well i saw another one someone took um a piece of bread put an uh like an egg yolk on the bread put another piece of bread over there and then took a cup and like smushed it all together to make like an uncrustable or whatever and then they put it in the toaster and it cooked the egg and the toast at the same time for like this super awesome like uh 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 what is it? Egg in a nest or whatever it's called? A- bird's nest. Bird, yeah, bird's something like nest. that. Bird in a yeah. nest, yeah. Okay. Oh, man, it, was, it looked amazing. But it doesn't have to be food-related. Well, no, it doesn't have to be food-related. I think of food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like something in your day-to-day or well, even I, like no, I'll task just, I'll just go with what right. I've been suggested. As a person who grew up on instant ramen, so you take instant okay. ramen, put an egg uh-huh. and slice of American cheese in, 
and pop it into oh. my cupboard. And mix mm-hmm. it up. Oh. All right. Okay. It's amazing. American cheese and yep. an egg. I'll have to try that. I'll have to try it, that. It, it, it tastes so much better and tastes almost like a real ramen. Almost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got a couple links here before we go to the drop that I just wanted to mention. Um, Number one is I wanted to mention that Clinton Jones spent like five and a half hours messing with metahumans on YouTube like he does. Mm -hmm. He, He does these ridiculously long Saturday live streams and... The amount of people watching it is insane. Like, Mm -hmm. he did the one on Saturday with MetaHumans. It's got like sixty-one thousand views already. That's crazy. It's for a for a five-hour live stream to have that many hits. Oh my gosh! Like, so he created himself in. Oh, that's going to be viral. Like, whole people will start creating themselves and like some famous celebrities on MetaHumans. Yeah, yeah. I saw somebody did. I think Robert Downey Jr. Really? Was it? I think it was Robert Downey Jr. Somebody did it. At, where was it posted? I want to say it was in the Unreal. You're getting a lot of these in the Unreal virtual production right, Facebook right, right, group. Right. People are getting tired of of course. It's just like with NFTs, right? right? NFTs come out and everybody's like, I'm so tired of hearing about it right. now. Right, right, right. Same thing. It's, it's oh, the hot humans. shit right <laughs> now. You know? Yeah. First it was Unreal. Now it's NFTs. Now it's going to be metahumans. You know, mm-hmm. we'll have to make a whole separate section about meta humans because yeah. the listeners won't like us talking about meta. I mean, you can hide <laughs> under the rock, but life will chase you down. And right, <laughs> right. <laughs> it's something heavy. We gotta, <laughs> yeah, we gotta report yeah. on the things. That's our, that's yeah. our job, yep. right? I gotta yep. use the bathroom. I'll be back. You can oh, do start it. doing the Go do it. whole other thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll finish yeah. the links while you do that. <sighs> yeah. So this other uh, link I have here is it's called the forget who posted this. I think David Arya posted this actually. Yeah, and it's called the real story of Paris Hilton. Oh, okay. And you know, I think it's like because haters are gonna hate, right? Right. Like, like I was talking about last week. There's a lot of misconceptions about Paris Hilton, and there's right. You Got to go do do some research on her. You'll be surprised. I think. Right. Right. Okay. Based on you know public opinion, you know how that happens, you know right. all of that. It sucks being in the limelight, I'm sure. Yeah. So yeah, like I'm I'm sure rumor there's rumors and there's all sorts of gossip talk, mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff it, that form who a celebrity is in your head, right? right? You, so you think of a celebrity, you think, oh, they're that one that did that one thing, right? You know, and that may or may not be true. Who knows? So check it out. Learn more about her because she, I feel like she's getting into NFTs for the right reasons. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Also, Mark Fancher has a 2021 demo oh, reel out. Man. Oh, my God. Oh Mark my Fancher God. is so the person we aspire to all become. <laughs> like, right. In my opinion, like, dude, that guy that guy is just absolutely killing it. I, yeah. I freaking love Mark Fancher. And he has so uh, – I should have mentioned at the beginning, but – He's got some great work in there, and a lot of it's from already been chewed, and you yeah. put it in there that is from already been chewed. So make sure you check that out, and uh, you'll see, you'll see, you're you're going to be able to learn how to do a lot of this stuff. You yeah. already can in this course, and you're going to be le- learning more mm-hmm. in the new course. So yeah, check that out. Also, I thought this was kind of relevant, and there's these, you know, TikTok right now is all about UFOs and the, U- right. the aliens are coming right. and all right. Of that, right? So. <laughs> There's always that resurgence about every 10 years. You right. Know? Oh, so. the, the aliens are coming and the right. government's getting us ready. All these conspiracy theories. Hilarious. And there's one that's been going around a lot and it shows, oh, release Pentagon footage showing blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. And it's like, yes, it is released Pentagon footage, but it's also not UFOs because right. they keep showing it off and they're these little triangles. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, it's pyramid shaped. And you have to check out this YouTube video because it's the most easy explanation and all mm. it is it's this one particular kind of night vision scope that has a triangle iris mm-hmm. so what happens is when it's out of focus you get a bokeh of a of a triangle because mm, gotcha. it's just not in focus it's all it is it's so easy it's such a simple explanation it is not aliens yep but i just thought it was very relevant <laughs> i'm not gonna it say it's about aliens, the shape of the iris and all that but it's aliens <laughs> right yeah 
Aliens. Aliens. <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> Pyramid UFO. Also, just a quick link here to the Maxon merch store. I know a lot of people were wanting yeah. to get their Maxon on. I bought a I bought a hoodie and a shirt. Mm-hmm. You put yeah. it on in the morning. It's Max on. Take right. it off at night. Oh gosh, it's Max off. <laughs> Max off. <laughs> and <laughs> there it is. There, there it is. All right. <laughs> and lastly, I'd just like to say I think we're famous now because we Are finally we? made it into a MoGraph meme. Yeah, we. Well, we didn't, but. Mark sure Fancher did. did. Mark Fancher well, did. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's a MoGraph. It's Mark com. Fancher, yeah. of course. Yeah. Too, but yeah, 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 yeah. The between booking starter pack, and it has like yeah. a screenshot of "Stop Being Afraid of Houdini." Someday yeah. we'll figure out who MoGraph memes is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Question for you, Matt. Yes. Are you ready to do the drop? Let's do the drop. The drop. Drop, drop, drop. Is this the fucking mic? Drop. This is exactly what I should be doing. <laughs> What's up and welcome to this week's episode of The Drop, your weekly source for all things NF- NFT and crypto art, as well as upcoming drops by notable people in the MoGraph industry. Joining us today on The Drop is Sasha Vinogradova. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of stumbled a little bit there. It's because I was speaking so it's quickly. It's amazing. I, you know? I'm so impressed with the way you guys can talk, like, so fast. Yeah. <laughs> I, I try. And it, try. honestly, it's just, you know, I, I it, most of the time it doesn't come out. You know, it's just, blah, 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 blah. it's all just. It's still words. impressive. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. This week's drop. Sorry, I don't have the list up. Uh, uh, the drop list. Uh, so let's uh, let's start off on uh, the the main major two drops, side, the right? major drops. You know, the yep, ones yep. coming up on Nifty and uh, Maker's Place. There's a bunch of them this week. Um, there was also yeah. there's a bunch of people that we have already seen or that we already know um, that have done some drops as well as a couple of uh, uh, new ones. First up. Um, if you're interested, you know, I didn't put this in our notes, Dave, so you don't know. Uh, today, oh. uh, Justin Roiland's doing a drop on, on Nifty. I love Justin Roiland as, an, as you know, Rick and Morty, as the artist, blah, blah, blah. But I think I, I always think his drops are a little bit lackluster because I feel like it's kind of a cash grab. Grab. Don't don't get me wrong, Justin. I If you ever listen to this show, just <laughs> know I love you. I really do. But I'm not into I'm not into the drops. I don't love, you know, just sketches and stuff. But anyway, you, you're so looking for more of a full blown Rick and Morty scene to buy. I am, yeah. Or the the stuff that he did on Maker's Place a few weeks ago was awesome because those were actual sketches from you know him, uh, uh, like him concepting oh. Rick yeah, and yeah. Morty. Those are a part mm-hmm. of history which I think are awesome. You know, yeah. So anyway, that's the only drop on Nifty today. Um, at four twenty tomorrow, we got a couple drops. First up, we got our boy Brilly. Brilly, yo, Brilly, yo, Brilly, yo, um, uh, collaborating. Uh, for those who don't know, that's uh, formerly locked and loading. Uh, uh, David Brodeur, um, going by Brilly now, um, and Scott Storch. Um, I believe I'm saying that's right. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. They did a. They're doing a collab together, and if you've been following uh, Brodeur's uh, Instagram and stuff, you'll see a bunch of like the stuff that he's been posting. He posted this one picture of Scott Storch and a couple of other guys, and I commented. I said, "Which episode of Jersey Shore was this?" Because I don't remember. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Oh man, sorry. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> Uh, next up, uh, 420, we've got uh, Daniel Allen Cohen. Um, uh, it goes by uh, This Is Addictive uh, on uh, This Is Addictive this is with an E awesome. as a three. Yeah, it's, it's super like cool. Cartoon. So it's like uh, talking about non fungible tokens and stuff, but they're like token, you know, because it's 420. Token, you know. Token. Dave, token. Right. I there you go. It. There you go. <laughs> get it. Anyway. Get it. Pretty cool. Um, another thing with this, uh, uh, Daniel's also op- uh, offering up forty-two dollar pieces. Um, I'm not sure if they're drawings or if they're open editions or first come first serve. But like, it's uh, if you've seen some of his uh, like physical art pieces, like they look like these. Um, 
I don't know, like a periodic table type stuff, you know, which is super cool. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but that that's what his forty two dollar pieces are similar to looking like. But I mean, even if it's just a drawing for forty two bucks, you know, stuff stuff like the dollar drawings and the hundred dollar drawings and the forty two dollar drawings, you know. If you're able to get those, you're if you're looking to just make some quick cash. If you're able to get them, then you know you're able to flip them relatively quickly. Versus, you know, uh, 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 for ones that are like a thousand dollars or something like that. But you know, it's it's always good to just hop on those. So, mm-hmm. um, next up, we've got uh, Victor Mosquera. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Um, and I can't remember which pieces this was. Oh yeah, this one was cool. Um, uh, uh, I just thought it was a really, uh, cool piece, you know, very 2d flat illustrated look and stuff like that. Um, I thought it was uh, really pretty Beautiful. looking. So, um, yeah, uh, they're doing a drop on 420 as well. Um, next up 421, April 21st, that is Wednesday. Um, an artist named disclosure. Um, they are doing a drop and this one I just thought was I thought was gorgeous, you know, a lot of really cool oh, stuff. Cool. Yeah, mini faces is what it's called, you know. But it's uh, a lot of really pretty stuff. I love it. You know, I I really, yeah, I really liked the art. Uh, I really liked the art. So I was like, all right, cool. Let's uh, let's give this one a shout out. That's pretty cool. So yeah, fun. Uh, next up th- Thursday, uh, four twenty two, uh, Malavida. Um, is the name of the artist, uh, also Alicia Re- Renaud, I believe is the, their actual Renaud. name. Renaud. Renaud. I don't know. Renaud. Um, but, uh, this one is, what is it? Onboarding? Is that what mm-hmm. it is? Yeah. I, I, I go through these. I find the, the artists that I really like, you know, and then I put them up. But yeah, I, I love this, like, uh, uh, super rainbowy, like, uh, I don't know. They almost look like, like, Yeah. Like mirrors and stuff like that. It's super cool. Like super mirrors trippy. with like, like rainbowy paint. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. In them, uh, super pretty stuff. So I thought I'd throw that one out there. Also uh, on Thursday, Roger Kilimanjaro, who uh, we've talked about on the show a couple of times. I feel like you know mm-hmm. these super, you know, very pleasant uh, looking, satisfying, drops and stuff. satisfying, very mm-hmm. satisfying. Yeah. You know, I don't know exactly what he's uh, what they're dropping this one. Uh, this time, but it, it's probably along the same lines. So super cool. cool. I love Roger's stuff. Um, Four twenty three. This would be Friday, I believe. Uh, thank you, X. I'd like this one. You know, uh, uh, making it seem like a. Uh, it's called convergence. You know, uh, NFT, crypto art, fine art, like a convergence between the fine art and the crypto art, which is cool. So I don't know. Kind of neat. I liked it. Um, I think uh, Fawocious really liked that one, mm-hmm. you know. So Fawocious. Uh, uh, next up Saturday, uh, Gavin oh, Shapiro Gavin. and Young Bay. So, um, uh, what's cool is um, uh, Gavin was saying that this this uh, so Young Bay. Um, he he sent an email to them and was like, "Hey, I'd love to do some you know some stuff for your tour or whatever. I'd love to do you know collaborate on stuff." Hmm. And that was the very first like iteration of the flamingo, you know, the stuff yeah. that he made for Young Bay. So uh, it's cool to see them doing a collaboration together. Uh, you know, super super excited about that one. And I love Gavin's stuff. You know, I'm a big supporter of Gavin Shapiro. I think he's one of the best in our industry. <clears throat> so that's it for the Nifty drops. Um, there are other ones if you want to check them out. You can check out Nifty's Twitter. They announce all their drops on Mondays. You know. So uh, next up cool. uh, uh, for Maker's Place. Um, uh, we're doing a, uh, this is p- a follow up to last week's drop. Um, Urz Fisher, um, is doing chaos part two, you know, and mm. I am like, I, I'm not, I'm actually a little bit surprised, you know, but I, uh, like I said, I know how they, how the sausage is made, you know, so, uh-huh. uh, but these sold so well, like some of them went for like $60,000, Good last Lord. week which is crazy so uh yeah that's a follow-up to last week's drop um on 421 tenacious d is doing a drop 
which really? I thought was pretty cool. You know, if you watch the video, <laughs> it's like a Bob Ross type thing. And like, okay. you know, so I don't know if this is like this. This is the one thing that annoys me about <laughs> some of the drops. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so this is the one thing that annoys me about some of these drops is I don't know what they are actually dropping, you know, on Maker's Place and Nifty. Uh-huh. Like they don't actually show the work because I would love Did, to see. Well, but I he's think he's painting his buddy, that other musician dude that he always right. works with. Kyle for, Gass. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so, uh, so are uh, they maybe whatever he comes up with on this painting is so what the NFT um is? this is like they had a show uh, a movie or whatever called Apocalypto. And I think they're uh, giving away or they're selling, auctioning off, um, like, different art pieces from the movie, I think. Anyway. It must take a lot of courage to sit there in your underwear on the internet like that. Yeah, you know. (laughs) At the end, you know. Anyway, so uh, that's cool. Super excited. I love Tenacious D, you know, have since I was a, a, a very, you know, whatever kid in high school. Um, that's, uh, 421 also Andro- Android Jones. Um, I thought this one was super cool. Like I love, I, I just, I, I saw it and I was like, okay, this is not your typical, like, let's throw together a, 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 a thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like this one I feel like is so much more put together and like, it, it's just gorgeous. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You know, what are those called when you when you paste a whole bunch of stuff together and Photoshop it all together? A, a collage? Like a, collage, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wow. Wow, okay. This isn't like your typical collage like I've seen some of these other artists do. You know, this one's actually, I, I feel like it's it works all together and stuff like that. Um, next one, uh, 422. Uh, we've mentioned this artist before. Uh, they've done drops on uh, Maker's Place as well. Uh, Andreas uh, Vonerstedt, I believe is how you say. Uh, these super satisfying loops, you know, really fun stuff. Uh, that one is on 422. So cool stuff. Wow. Yeah. Wow. A lot of big um, drops. A lot of, yeah, a lot of drops from the big sites, you know, and it's nice. There are still some musicians who are doing drops and stuff like that, but, you know, I, I didn't know a lot of the artists. And, you know, if you're a musician and you're doing a drop with an artist, like, okay, for example, <clears throat> Paris Hilton did a drop with uh, with Blake Catherine, mm-hmm. and Paris Hilton went all out with it. She is like, this is what we're doing. Let's make a video about it and stuff like that. Yeah. That is how you do a collab, yeah. in my opinion. You don't just pair up an artist and like a musician and like the artist doesn't even care to me that feels like a cash grab you know that the musician's just like eh, whatever make me an mft and we'll split the proceeds or whatever you know it's like it's like i feel like they like collabs they got to be working together like the same stuff that uh 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 your boy brilly and scott storch has been doing and the stuff that you've been seeing coming from Mixmaster mike and uh uh Jonathan Winbush, like that is how you collab, you know? Well, right. I don't know. As Absolutely. a person who is collabing with a musician, I have to say, like, yes. we don't, ha- like, we do not do the video about the process, but oh my god, but it's like right. it is a collaboration. It's like we had right. a call originally uh, where we brainstormed everything to just like, oh, in Pinterest boards, like here's what we like, here's what I like, and cool. Uh, cool. It's, been weeks of back and forth with some stuff because you know um mm-hmm. well as i mentioned earlier on 29th uh cruella uh the uh, band mm-hmm. is dropping on nifty and we're collaborating and uh it's that's been awesome like it was true collaboration it's like yeah. there's a bunch of me in there and it's a bunch of them <laughs> so uh-huh it was fun See, True and that's col- what I, yeah. that's what, that's what I like to see, you know, yeah. and mm-hmm. for the longest time before NFTs were around, it's like, okay, so a musician wants to work with an artist or whatever. It's like, Hey, I like your stuff. I'll, I'll pay you two grand, you know, and you make me a, a five minute music video and, and I'm going like, to have 800 changes. And I'm going to have, yeah, I'm going to have 800 yeah. changes and stuff. And it's yeah. like for, for the longest time, I feel like the artists were taken advantage of by a lot of musicians and stuff like that. And now it's, it's good to see a full honest to God 
collaboration. Yeah, because you know? a true collab is like, okay, you're working on a scene and the the musical artist is like, oh, I don't know if I like that part. And the artist will be like, well, here's why I did it this way. Because yeah. it looks good if you do X, Y, and Z. Yeah. And then the musician will be like, oh, okay, I get it. But in the other type of situation, it's almost like they're the client. Yeah. And they're like, oh, I want to do such and such. And the, yeah. the artist pushes back. It's like, oh, why are you pushing back? I'm telling you what to do. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it feels different. It feels like, yeah. sorry, I'm like grabbing my shoulder. I, I had a, a, freak, uh, <laughs> a freak accident with Beat Saber. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm having like the worst neck and shoulder and hand pain because of the Beat Saber I played wow, last Thursday. It's nice. intense. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, like no, it's yeah. good to see. It's good to see artists and musicians collabing yeah. totally, and like I love seeing. I love seeing it be. I love seeing musicians promote the collaboration. You know, even if it's just a simple, you know, pinned tweet on their Twitter. Like if they're not pinning a tweet talking about their upcoming collaboration with the artist, I don't care. I won't mention it. You know. Because to me, if they're going to take the time to promote their collaboration between the artists, that tells me that they care about this mm-hmm. collaboration. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> anyway. Um, what, was I, what was I saying? I, I, Sorry. I don't know. Yes. On to else? I don't know. Do you? Do you? We can you move guys on were to the talking other about Maker's got... Place and everything was, drop, was dropping on that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so we have community drops if you want to do that. Community drops, yes. You want to do that? Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I have the same order as you. I will. You know. uh, yeah, uh, I will put. I'll just bring them up, and you can talk about them. Uh, okay. Jesus Suarez. Is Jesus Suarez. The first yeah, one on the hit list us up here. in the the Slack or uh, uh, someone had said, "Hey, you need to tell Matt about this," you know, because I mm-hmm. I love Jesus's work. I think it is super duper pretty. Um, it, uh, they just did a drop uh, the Vista one, Dave. If you want to click on that one, that one they just Vista? dropped this okay. past week. You mm-hmm. know, but give Jesus a follow. Uh, uh, and they uh, yeah, super pretty. I love it. Mm-hmm. Love it. <clears throat> uh next up we've got uh Garrett Appleton yep uh posting on Open C uh Garrett Just sent this one this I believe here. in Slack I can't remember go. it once it once yeah, it comes it's up it's called Sorry. Skull Eft Oh right 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 yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that like you know, this one, it, it was it was much longer, you know, than just your typical, you know, just a, a, your typical still frame NFT or something like that. It's like a whole, whole, like short film, which was awesome. You know, super excited to see that type of work. So nice. super cool. Uh, next up. Now, now this is on my list. I'll just go in my list order. I've sure. got all yours, but just to make sure the next one is Jeremy Walker. And mm-hmm. I think I put this one in here. Uh, because, well, I think he hit us both up, but uh, this is, he says, I'm, I'm following Ooh. up from sliding into Dave's DMs. <laughs> if you have room, I wanted to show my NFT. This is a short I put together after taking Aryev's uh, LCR class, lights, camera, lasagna. Right <laughs> and it's definitely a career milestone piece for me. Thank you so much for your time. And if it doesn't work out, I totally understand. But I'll promise I'll keep watching the podcast anyway. Take care. It's gorgeous. Super yeah. gorgeous. You could tell that LCR. You could see that LCR. You love it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> uh, then we got Gustav. Gustav, yeah. yeah uh, he's got another one out. Another one for this week. I another love Gustav's one. work. Man, Gustav's work. I, I I, don't know. Gustav needs to be making millions of dollars because this work is really good. Really, yeah. really good. Um, it, they just listed it. Gustav just listed it on Foundation or April twenty sixth. It'll be. Mm-hmm. It's pronounced Ska Ska Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, good job. <laughs> <laughs> it's pronounced um, just like it's yeah, it's written. pronounced just like it sounds. <clears throat> Difficultly. Uh, next up, our boy Paul Robinson just posted yeah. another one called Last Hope. Love it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely love this piece. Super super cool. Um. Yeah. Really. Really beautiful. You know, I love the, the character the work. I leaf that goes. Love down the there. leaf, yeah, and yeah. I love like like did a really good job with the character animation, following along and everything. It just feels it feels so fluid. I loved it. Loved it. Um. Next up, we got Francis Francisco Garcia Neva Nava. Not sure which one it is. Uh. But uh. 
uh, Francisco just posted this one. I love it's it. Pretty. Super pretty. So pretty. Yeah. It's subsurface mm-hmm. dough. Uh, that's Look subsurface that. dough. That. Yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Right? You just want to squish it. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it feels very smooth. Right. Right, right, yeah. right. Super Great. nice. Really good work. Uh, that one is on foundation. Uh, next yeah. up, uh, Dave, you Travis. Wanna- yeah, Travis, Travis Ragsdale. Ragsdale. Now, here's the thing. He hit us up last week, and he hit us up, like, literally at 2 p.m., like, right, right when we were doing right this we were segment. Done. And so, he sold this one already. Oh, he did? <laughs> so, too late. <laughs> too funny. late. There, uh, love there really has cool, to though. be tweens somewhere holding hands. Like, er- <laughs> right. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, the blood normally gets off on the second yeah. floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And, uh, <clears throat> let's see. We oh, lastly, okay. This is somebody that tagged us on Twitter. This is Andrea Malpede, I think is how you pronounce it. The username is uh, Panstis. P A N N S T I S. Yeah. And I hope that I have pronounced that correctly. I probably haven't, but uh, this is a foundation piece called Rat Ooh, Race. Beautiful, love it. Oh man, this is pretty cool. gold the, the and dollars. marble. Are oh, a yeah. beautiful combination. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely love that. The man yeah. FTS, you know. Yeah, totally. Yeah, um, we had another. Uh, we had uh, uh, we had Andy Andy Needham hit us up. Like, oh, we did just a few minutes ago, and I put this oh. in the notes. Um, okay, as as said, uh, I'm not sure if you're on the radar drop section, uh, but he's got one he wanted to share. Dave, do you have that link, or you want me to send it to you? I got it. I got it. Okay, cool. Is. Um, and Andy's out. been doing, he, he said he did a site for all of his NFTs, um, which is NFT dot I'm called Andy dot com, which, oh. uh, is cool. And he said, uh, it, it is a good talking point, you know, to where like people should, and this is cool. Ooh, I think this is great. The little locks. Oh ah, like, yeah. Soon. That's a good idea. Nice. Yeah. So got like some it. coming soon, but like setting up your own site, you know, on your portfolio or whatever. It's like, hey, like I said, this is going to become commonplace. You know, right. you've yeah. got your portfolio page. You're gonna just going to be setting up NFTs, and it's like, okay, now you link them to all the different places that you're selling mm-hmm. them to. Yep. Yeah. This totally. is the new commonplace. Now we just yeah. got to get rid of those gas fees because with Ethereum being so high, it's freaking ridiculous right now. Yeah, but you know, so, like said the environment effect. <clears throat> Why not? Mm-hmm. Right, right, yeah, yeah. So, Sasha, what are you talking? Uh, t- what are you, What are you? What are you working on uh, for NFTs right well, now? Oh my gosh, about it. And can I just say real quick? Sorry, uh, uh, like the NFTs that you have been dropping with the like jeweled bugs are gorgeous like that like i was so excited to have you on the on the show just because i just wanted to tell you how much i love that will be coming at some point i think (laughs) good because i think i think that is some of the most beautiful work that i have seen and when you posted them i knew they were gonna go i knew they were gonna go i I was it was so funny with that drop like it it, um so for eight Ethereum, and it was the highest I ever yeah. sold for. Um, and I, it all happened kind of at night. So I woke up, seeing like million emails from oh. Foundation <laughs> and all the bidding war. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Oh no, what did I do? <laughs> yeah, it was it was very pleasant. It's like you know to skip all the nerve wracking part, and you just like, right. <laughs> Right there, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, and uh, I'll come back to it. Yeah. I I got finally a Maker's Place account, and like I'm I'm just like thinking cool. like should I continue with Foundation dropping those or should I go with yeah. Maker's Place? And you know I'll try to mm-hmm. hit super rare, especially after I have Nifty drop. Uh, maybe that will help yeah. a little bit getting there. But yeah. we'll see. I just need yeah. to figure out where to uh, drop it. Uh, yeah, yeah, what are, what are you thinking I, as far as that? Are you going to do like, uh, are you going to keep certain styles in certain places? Well, or? you know, I have a whole bunch of previous work, like Bugs is work I done like a while ago. Um, and mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. So yeah, good. Uh, so I'm, I'm definitely revising those. And uh, um, I, I actually animating them and I'm planning to uh, create a couple of oh, yeah? things. For that, yeah. Oh um, man, eight ETH on this one. This sold for eight yeah, ETH. Yeah, 
it's, yeah, that is. I knew awesome. it would. I knew it was going to do well. Awesome. I knew it it's was going to do well. Actually, like you know, pleasant to see that the actual uh, collector bought it uh, because mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. if you see my hands collection, that was very yeah. pleasant to see. But it was pretty much a community support. Like um, artists, uh-huh. other artists bought them. Like Blake, mm-hmm. actually Blake right. bought one of the hands. Um, yeah. Ted mm-hmm. Chin bought another one. So, um, and I'm like uh, printing those and I'm going to send it to them. But that was uh, cool. like, th- nice. that was the moment where I'm like, oh, I love you guys. Right, <laughs> right, right, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I just need to figure out where to go with that. Um, but about the community drops, I have to promote some other stuff too, yes? Yeah. Yeah, um, please do. Mm-hmm. How do I share my screen? Uh, Green is uh, dropping uh, his. Just yeah, just send me the link. Send and it all. to yeah. Dave, and he'll yeah. throw it up. Um, so yeah. A symmetry piece goes on sale, and it's like so freaking cool. Um, so I send it just on Skype. Got it. Yeah. Got it. So this is Kim. Um, I I'm, I'm struggling you- with that too, but. Freaking fantastic. Yeah. Such an awesome, beautiful piece. Mm-hmm. And, you know. So this one, uh, April... Oh, this is today. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Uh, April 19th. And this is a super rare. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> that. That's Some gorgeous. Very badass. Yeah. Some other super. ones here uh, we could check out. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. I feel like... I feel like maybe I've seen. All right, I gotta follow this person. On Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I I feel like I've seen this person before, and I I can't remember, or maybe it's just similar. But maybe no, no, I have because this is yep, what yep, I was thinking of right here. I think Ariev shared yeah, this with us. Super wow. freaking cool. Um, and uh, also, uh, Tae Hoon is uh, premiering his movie. I think. Tomorrow or today, uh, and I'm sure at some point it will end up at um, at the you know super rare, but some mm-hmm. crazy awesome cool. stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now doesn't he have? He's got something on the Max on oh, Real, sure. right? Isn't this I'm, on the I Max on Real? This most one. Most likely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh Or, yeah, or yeah, maybe yeah. the Redshift yeah. Real yeah. or one of those. Yeah. <laughs> I know I've seen that in there. Gorgeous. Yeah. Great mm-hmm. looking stuff. Man, look at the textures on this. Yeah, seriously. That is nice. Yep. Wow. Mm-hmm. wow. Oh, wow. man, look at those textures. <laughs> You're like... What, this is really good for the mean? audio version of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Just We're imagine. Just have to click the link and find wow, those look. textures. Everything, yeah. look. Isn't this the same room that Ariev used for his... Uh, is it? For space, 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 this room right here, or am I crazy? Uh, no. no. Oh, I, I yeah, I feel like I've maybe. seen this, too. This isn't a real, too. Or, yeah. This yeah, I've seen in, that uh, one. A Redshift or Max on Reel or something. Yeah, it's, it's so good. This is uh, an example of, like, working at the meal, and you're like, oh, this this new Korean guy is coming, and you've seen this, and you're like, well, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dang. Oh, yeah. boy. Here co- <laughs> yeah. That's fine. You get super excited because their work is so good, but then you're like, oh, uh, I man. To, I have to try it like, so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man. That's funny. Um, That's really funny. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, in terms of uh, what I've been doing, I wanted to show you guys. Uh, we have to have my links, and I'm going to send it to you like <laughs> right now. Um, there we go. Okay, so this was a very fun one. Um, pretty much uh, 49 artist collaborations. Uh, it's not minted yet. We are going to mint it at some point. If you go down, like down, down, mm-hmm. you'll see entire grid, like probably in the very beginning. Yes. Oh, cool. Uh, see the... Yeah. yeah, click on that one. This one yeah, here. There yeah. should be a Behance project somewhere where you can see everything closer. So... Um, that's yeah. beautiful. I love the I love the ombre, you know, the gradient from the pink to the orange and how they laid it out well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking to see if I can find the uh Behance. I should the Behance <clears throat> link somewhere. I'll see if I can bring that up. This is nice. Yeah, it was super cool to yeah. These are all connect cool. with all those 
like I mean on one hand connect with new people on another to uh, just uh, you know keep in touch with people I already know and have yeah. this like yeah, yeah. pretty much we've all been given a color and like what is your take on that color but do whatever you want cool um, yeah oh gorgeous there we go here's the Behance I'll make sure I bookmark that for the the show notes so everybody can check that out wow love that that is so wow. cool this mm-hmm. right here it's yeah. like a gooey, sandy, yeah, something. Something else got spelled it. <laughs> gooey, sandy, yeah. something. I yeah. did. I saw this one the other day. This one here with the stuffed animal or whatever it is. I uh-huh. was looking at that with the, uh, like the ribbons and stuff coming off of it. I saw that. Po- I don't know if that was posted in like maybe the Get NFT. I really like Facebook. the portrait one. Gosh, look wow. at that. That's so yeah. pretty. It's it's hard to do faces, yeah, that's for sure. There was even fuzz faces, and yeah. stuff. I love this one, the stylized yeah. one with the uh, little dude and the balloon. So uh-huh. cute. Uh-huh. I mean, oh, oh, oh. Gosh, all this work is, is awesome. Yeah. 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 Really great. Man. Hmm. Yep. Mm. Good um, stuff. So, been doing that. Um, and um, yeah, that uh, Corella collaboration, which. Uh, is dropping on Nifty um, on 29th. That's uh, that's my life right now. My computer on nonstop rendering. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah. I know you guys talked about the render farms previous episodes and stuff. I never tried render farms because you know, again, yeah. working at the mill for so long, like we had amazing yeah. farms in the facility, and you're like, okay, just no, 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 no. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. Um, but no, yeah. gotta, gotta figure it out at some point. But so far, nonstop, uh, one computer is running, another if it's for work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's me as well. <laughs> oh boy, look who it is. Oh hey, uh, hi there, Matt. Uh, What's up, man? <laughs> oh, you know, I just thought I'd uh, pause right here. For a minute and uh here here dorpy let me let me take these glasses from you because they're not dorpy. really working yeah you know why are you why are you wearing the glasses anyway oh uh, well the uh the paparazzi were out <laughs> to get me they were after me because see they thought that since i do nfts that i just might happen to do paris hilton and i don't right. boy were they barking up the wrong tree oh my god <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so every I've, week. I've been following Paris Hilton, though, ever since her dog was on the cover of Vanity Fur. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully I can, uh, maybe I could do an NFT for her dog. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah. Anyway, but for now, I got to go. I got to remain, uh, I need my sunglasses back. I got to remain in Corgi Nito and uh, so just get out of here because uh, paparazzi's going to find me. Oh, oh, oh. boy. Oh, they, uh, I think they spotted me. You need it. All right, I gotta go. Bye. Okay, bye, Dorby. You need sound effects on the show. Man. And all, like, uh, like... Right, you know, right, six, right. Six Slide whistles and... On the back out. I need to, I need oh to get, like, a, a little soundboard with, like, the, uh, the drum and... Right, right. Yeah. If, uh, Dorby, he's so corny. If anyone wants to see more of Dorpy shenanigans, make sure to follow <laughs> MoGraph on TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, TikTok, you can see yeah. all the shenanigans. There's extra yeah. shenanigans, not just stuff There's, from the yeah. show. The bonus yeah. shenanigans. Bonus Dorpy <laughs> shenanigans. You can't get enough of how absolutely hilarious right. and amazing this is. You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh my Anything gosh. Else? Last week last week when Shams asked <laughs> Dorby oh, yeah. if he could and then you said no. <laughs> like the timing <laughs> on that make was NFTs? so perfect. No. Just, no. Yeah. Oh man. That wasn't me though. That was all Dorpy. Right, that was all but, Dorpy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I do have a crypto link I wanted to add, uh, which is uh it's just a, an interview with crypto the crypto billionaire who bought the sixty nine million dollar Oh, cool. NFT every day, so make cool, sure cool, you cool. check that out. Did you see that Kevin Smith is uh, turning his next film into an NFT? No. I With distribution rights. Oh. Really? Yeah. Wow. 
Very interesting. Wow. It's called uh, what's it called? What was the the name of that uh, that uh, that little guy? The little picture that the they drew back in the Vietnam guy. days. Um, and so and so was here. Dang it, Kevin Smith movie. Oh, you're talking about. <sighs> I know who you're talking about. Um, Kilroy. Kilroy. Yeah, it's called I Am Kilroy or something. Hmm. Um, is the name of his uh, yeah Kilroy movie. Um, oh, okay. Kilroy was here is the name of the movie. I think it's a horror movie. You know, oh, so it's about... not like a documentary on Kilroy. No, 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 no. It's like a oh. it's like a horror movie. Oh, okay. you know. But right. yeah, he's he's supposedly auctioning it off as an NFT with distribution rights, which I think is very cool. You hmm. know, so like that's a good investment. If you're gonna invest in an NFT, buy a Kevin Smith movie. You know, get distribution rights, distri- distribute it out to. But yeah, yeah, but still, you know, if some of these, like, okay, so if I was a crypto whale, right, and had like a billion dollars in in Bitcoin or whatever, mm-hmm. spending a million dollars, two million dollars, whatever, for the distribution rights to a Kevin Smith movie, man, I would do that in a heartbeat. I like Kevin Smith, you know. But give me the distribution rights in the NFT for mall rats. That's what I want. I want those. <laughs> maybe. Maybe eventually. Yeah. You never know. <clears throat> or just give it to yeah. me. Just give it to me. Yeah. Well, is that it for the drop? Do we have anything else to talk about in the NFT yeah. space? I don't think so. That's it? Let's get out of here. The drop. 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 Is this the fucking mic? Drop. This is exactly what I should be doing. <laughs> All right, we're back All to right. MoGraph.com yes. podcast. Thank you very much for joining, everybody. Sasha, thank you so much for joining us this week. It has been a pleasure. I, I'm a huge hey, fan of your work. thank you for having so, me. And say hi to Yanni yeah. when you will have him. Uh, that, that will be fun. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Next yeah. month, right? Cool. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, we're going to get out of here. You can rate us on iTunes, leave reviews, subscribe on your podcatcher of choice, help get our ratings up. The newsletter is out there. Make sure you subscribe to that. It goes out like once a month. Shows you all yeah. the stuff you may have missed. Mm-hmm. Articles, podcasts, live specials, all of that fun stuff. You can say you've been there, dot, done that, got the t-shirt with the MoGraph logo T, Paul Babfield, the Bab 2020 shirt, the classic. All the profits from that go to Doctors Without Borders. Then there's the Render Things t-shirt, hoodie, and long sleeve tee. There's the MoGraph Blandishment shirt, which I am wearing right now mm-hmm. over here. That you can nice. get that. And the That Render is Fire shirt, which you are only allowed to wear ironically. <laughs> Unless, Unless you're shams. shams. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, MoGraph.com. Sasha, if people want to find you online on the yeah, interwebs, it's, it's, where it's can right, find like you? Instagram is right below me, like there. How do, how do you pronounce that? Mel yeah. Amori? I, you do not pronounce it. You just oh, type right. it. If you want to pronounce it, oh, okay. try, try, try with my uh, last name. Will be a little better luck, yeah. but still very complicated. Yeah. Yeah. So your okay. handle, M-E-L-A-A-M-O-R-Y. Yes. It's kind of like you don't pronounce like uh, Brie. Uh, what is it? What is it called? Uh, made me- Brie made me do it. Yeah. 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 I always read it as Briamadwa. <laughs> Briamadwa. Yeah. Sounds French. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. Exactly. <laughs> it looks French. <laughs> yeah. And cool. make sure well, to uh, watch out for Sasha's drop. Uh, what, yep. What's the date on that again? The 29th yep. of April, right? Yes, on cool. Nifty. All right. So. Cool. And we will be seeing you on Thursday night, everybody. Yes. Remember to, to come hang out. Yes. And uh, we'll we'll post some info on that on on the social medias um, and yeah. things later on. So everybody just look for that. And uh, yeah, that yeah. about wraps it up. Cool. Cool. Thank you so Thanks much for lot. having me. And all right, bye guys. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Until next time. I'm Dave. And I'm Matt. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> later, yo. Hey, I went the whole show without going to the bathroom. <laughs> Pretty good, I guess. MoGraph.com, an online resource for motion graphic artists. Start your week with the MoGraph podcast. Industry news, interviews with your favorite artists, and terrible humor. 
Watch live shows and interviews from MoGraph events like NAB, SeaGraph, HalfRes, and local meetups. <laughs> Our MoGraph talks feature live demos and motivation from artists all around the world. Sometimes you got to make stuff that you're not going to put on your reel, and I'm not here to judge. What if Rick and Morty show up for the countdown at midnight? That's where I peaked in life, in my career. We gotta stop this thing, Rick! It's gonna kill us all! Hear from the people that create your software, design your render engines, and artists that are changing the face of modern motion graphics. Can you get that render done? Yeah, you better frame, frame what? MoGraph tutorials and online classes will teach you about Cinema 4D, After Effects, as well as other popular software and render engines. Throw in the HDR Studio, take the render settings, pick the HDR, put a reflection, and gorgeous. Branch into new software. Learn time-saving tips, techniques, workflows, and lessons that'll keep you up to date in the world of motion design. Oh, brother, those are some of my favorite elves. I love projects that scare me. When our art director comes to us and asks for something that I had never done before, man, it gets me pumped. Join the conversation in our live sessions. Check out our plugins or join the hundreds of daily active users in our Slack channel for technical help, advice, contests, or just to joke around. Real nice banana. Ah, that's so funny. All right. I'm going to live forever. <laughs> Subscribe today and get the latest updates on our YouTube and other social media channels. Take all your dreams and just do it! We don't care how you get here, folks. Just get here. Subscribe to MoGraph.com.